Good evening, football fans, and welcome here to our YSN Live pregame show here from Stambaugh Stadium. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie will be on the call tonight. Arguably the biggest game of the year here in the Mahoning Valley. The Ursuline Fighting Irish hosting the Austintown Fitch Falcons. Steve, getting a little bit of chills here pregame. This is a very big game tonight for both these squads. Yeah, you, there's no doubt, Anthony. When you look at uh, the, our YSN coverage that we have, these are two of our top teams that we cover all season long. And, and I look at it as obviously it's a big game, two teams that want to win, but I think it's two teams that have their sights set on, on a long run, hopefully for both of them in a playoff campaign. But what a great night for football. Two good teams, two good offenses. Reardon and Parker, two great coaches, skill, defensively, you've done this a long time. Who can stop the turnovers? Who can limit some big plays? Going to be a key to this game. Yeah, we spoke with Coach Reardon on Tuesday night down at the Golden Dawn. That was something that he emphasized was talking about limiting the turnovers, limiting the big plays, because it doesn't matter how many big games you play in for either side. Once you get into that game mindset and the adrenaline starts pumping, big plays can sway momentum in a big way. Well, I think when you talk talent-wise, so on both teams with the football yeah big plays are going to happen when people are where they're supposed to be also there there's so many talented players with the ball in their hands it's going to be the key I, I think both teams are going to play that style of wanting to make one another drive the ball long distances for scores you don't want to give up those plus 50 touchdowns in games like this last year was probably one of the best games we had on YSN all season long and I'm kind of expecting the same thing and yeah it's with these two teams these are probably two of the Biggest quick-hitting teams in the Valley, so it's definitely going to be a big test for both defenses here tonight. But once you get to this big division football, a lot of these guys don't play both ways. A lot of the big guys on the line do not play both ways. So we're definitely in store for a good one tonight. Two teams that love to score the ball, two defenses that love to cause havoc. We'll have it here tonight. No doubt. I, I think that you hit that on the head right there. It's an opportunity for, for people to... The big plays are the keys. I mean, Cam Smith is going to Iowa State because he's that good. And, uh, you know, a lot of people watching the game, and Cam Smith does his job on offense, on defense. But you watch him tonight on defense, he's going to be around the football. And for Ursland, you know, D.C. Farrell's been a big pickup for them. But you look at their skill guys. We had them on Tuesday night. Bernie and Manning are two great ones that, that I expect to have big games. Two good offensive lines. That, to me, and is where it came. Which offensive line is going to kind of be able to take over and do things to help the, their offenses move to football? Yeah, I think it's going to be a big test, especially for Urs. And you look at the edges. You have Brian Robinson on one side, Xavier Don on the other side. Don, of course, played for Ursland last year. Um, still great friends, I bet, with yep. a lot of the guys on this team. And then Brian Robinson, that's a guy that holds 32 offers. Yeah, I, I think when you look at, at these teams, they know one another really well. And there's no doubt you want to beat one another, no doubt. But I, I think there's also a respect in both of them that they understand that they get to play in a big-time climate in, in week four to prepare themselves to, to get into that playoff run. Obviously, Urson did it last year. Fitch, I, I, I'm excited to see for the first time. But both of these teams have that potential to uh, represent the Valley come state playoff time. Yeah, we'll get you introduced to both teams here tonight. First for Fitch, start off the year against a very notable opponent in the Foothill Falcons. I was able to cover that game out at Fitch, and boy did Austin Town lay it to him early and often. 42-10 to 10 victory down in week one at Greenwood Stadium. So which that, that's, that's a long trip. to. Yeah, that's a <laughs> long trip, but... It was, it was an interesting one but I under, because... You know, and, and for their credit, I know they did a lot of things. They went, I think, to the Steelers practice. Yep, I think they, they went have, to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. They have a graduate that sure. plays for the Steelers. So, sure. I mean, that's always special for the kids. Then week yeah. two for Fitch, another big win against Canton McKinley, 38-14. to 14. That's mm -hmm. a game that Fitch went to the Hall of Fame stadium last year and took down McKinley. And then last week, facing off with another school from around there in Glen Oak, they laid it to him 48-18. to 18. That's a game that was unable to happen last year due to COVID canceling that one. So I'm sure that was a game that Fitch was looking forward to. Now for the home Ursuline Fighting Irish. They started off the year. Steve and I, that was the only game we've gotten to do together Absolutely. so far this year. 52-14 to 14 victory over Brookfield. That was a game that had a lot of hype like this one. I don't think it had quite the hype that we have here tonight. But Ursuline has played on some big stages this year. Week 2, Padua Franciscan. 54-6 victory, 51-6, I apologize. And then last week, 
that was one that we were unable to be at due to us both working for the Youngstown State football team. But we saw our fair share of highlights against the Farrell Steelers. <laughs> 40 to 38 victory. Farrell opening up their home turf for the first time. Ursuline coming in and showing Northeast Ohio what the football is about here. Yeah, no question. It's it's two teams that play good schedules that will play anybody, play one another, and uh, it's going to be a great night. So that was our pregame show here from Stambaugh Stadium. When we come back, we'll have kickoff here from Youngstown State. Hi, this is Tommy Clem, owner of WRS Insurance Solutions. WRS Insurance Solutions is a local independent agency that specializes in life, Medicare, long-term care, and disability products. Call us at 330-953-3722 or visit us at wrsinsurancesolutions.com to learn more. Good luck to all the student athletes in the Valley. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money. Welcome back here from Stambaugh Stadium. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie, glad to be on the call here tonight for a very much anticipated matchup between the Ursuline Fighting Irish and the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Well, Steve, before we jump into our game tonight, there are some pretty good games on the docket here on our YSN Family Networks. Another one that really sticks out is down in Division Four, Jefferson against Girard. Those are two teams that are state ranked. That's Three nine and against yeah, ten. Girard's playing really well. Jefferson obviously has the good quarterback. I like Gerard in that game. I really do. I think they're doing some th things well. Big game for me. I, I'm interested to see Poland and Hubbard. Uh, you know, Poland one and two. It played a very good schedule to start, no question about it. But it's a big game for Poland tonight to try to get back to 500. And I think what makes the game even bigger, of course, we have 16 teams now in the playoffs per region, which helps out. But you don't Poland has South Range next week. Yeah, you don't so. want to get too far down there and start <laughs> scrambling and chasing for sure. But good night for football, good crowd. And, this will be a great game. A lot of skilled guys on the field. Yeah, this is definitely, I mean, we would say don't want to be biased or anything, but this is one of the games to watch here in the Mahoning Valley here tonight. Austin Town Fitch will be kicking off to start the game. It'll be Josiah Burnai who will tee it up for the Falcons. Deep to return for Ursland. Slide up. Will be D.C. Farrell. Slide up. And it looks like will have Bernie. Yeah, he's a good kicker, was a good kicker for him last year. Did a nice job. They're special teams, and we didn't talk about that before the game. Special teams are key. You know, you look at the skill guys back there for Urs and the talented. Fitch will have talented skill. You don't want to give up big plays in a big game with the special teams. Of course, on. We saw Ursland just a week ago gave up two kick return touchdowns to the Farrell Steelers. That's something else we were talking about with Coach Reardon this week, something that he really wants to fix on. So we'll see right here. Bernai has the ball teed up. He's ready to kick it away. We are just about ready for play here tonight. Pretty electric student section oh, yeah. both ways getting into it. It's what high school football is about right here. Exactly. Bernai going to boot it deep. We field it inside the 10-yard line. Taking it out across the 20. 
Pretty good return right there to start the ball game. Very good return. That also had Ursuline up with some good field position. Jaquise Liaison did a nice job there from the return spot. Pretty good return for the Irish. So that'll bring out Jack Erickson and company Erickson. Of course, picking up this year after four great years at the helm of the quarterback yeah, position that, by Brady he, he's Shannon. Had a, he's done a really good job running offense. Probably and see that no huddle with the big linemen, see if they could start playing fast, get Fitch on their heels a little bit. But you look at the size of the Fitch front four, that's a massive group with Cam Smith at the safety. Someone, of course, to look for at the bottom of the screen, Mark Manning, one of the senior leaders for this Ursuline team. First play, hand off to Christian Lynch, and he is going nowhere. Yeah, that's a big-time play by the defensive tackle. He's able to split the gaps and make a big play for the, for the Austin Towns Fitch Falcons. Josh Fitch Darrell, the senior, 275. Beat the one-on-one -on -one block and make a tackle for a loss. And that's something that we talked about in our pregame show. It's going to be a battle in the trenches. The big guys are going to be the ones who are going to win this game tonight. Erickson now rolling out to his right. He's going to keep it himself, get out across the 30. He'll step out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. So pretty nice job, job by Jack Erickson. Yeah, pretty good job there to get manageable. half of it back for sure. Zone coverage by the Falcons. Jack did a nice job. Got out of the pocket, was run out of bounds by Butler. So third and about six. Third and manageable here for Ursland. And this is where they like those crossing patterns with DC and Bernie and Manning. If they can get some time and get these guys isolated in some slants. Bernie and Manning to the bottom of the screen. Erickson in the gun joined by Lynch. It'll be a handoff here to Christian Lynch on third and sixth and he has a gap. That'll be enough for an Ursland first yep. down. Christian Lynch once he gets to that second level, yeah, he, he does can a make nice some job. Trouble. Pretty good offensive line right there. Lugers and Frasco on the left side. Colton Ross did a nice job. First down Irish. You see Ursuline, like they do so often, running quick. Lynch trying to break it outside. Fitch has bodies on the edge. We talked about that again also. Yeah, that's DJ Williams, their stud running back. Hard to get to the edges in the perimeter. You saw the big run by Lynch there inside. It's going to be tough to get to the perimeter of this Fitch defense. It's going to set up another second down and long situation behind the sticks here. It will be second and 11 for Ursuline. Three guys to the bottom, one lone man to the top. Jack Erickson, play action. He's going to roll out. He's going nowhere. Xavier Dawn, a very familiar face here at Ursuline, getting in the backfield. Yeah, that's Xavier. Played at Ursuline last year, come off the edge for the sack, so third and long. Only lost one, though, so it'll be third down and 12. Xavier Dawn came flying off that edge yeah, untouched. Beat, beat the left tackle, right tackle, one on one there. Got Luke, Isaac. Spread look here. Erickson will drop back. Third down and long. He's looking across the middle for is. Bernie. Has him and some space. Will Bernie across the 30 taken down inside the 25-yard line Cam Evans on the fifth. tackle. There's the crossings we talk about. Two by two set. Run them. Run some crossing powders. Those two have been doing it for four years, him and Mark. Great throw, Jack Erickson. Another big third down conversion. That's a huge third down conversion for Ursuline early on. We've seen Fitch. Get a lot of pressure in the backfield for Erickson to kind of get a big gain no right there. They protected that one pretty well, brought the extra guy, picked it up. And I think the key for them is to go fast and try to make the big boys on the Fitch D play the full four quarters. It'll be trips to the bottom here for Ursuline. I think Ursuline. we may have some clock malfunctions. Coach Reardon, I'm sure he doesn't like that. You want to play fast and go when you got the momentum going. <laughs> of course. But I, I, I'm for our fans, I, I can't possibly tell you how big Fitch is front four when you look and then you look behind and you see Cam Smith 6'1", 205, that's a, a pretty good strong safety Kid that's going to the Big 12 range Yeah, that's Iowa outstanding, State his dad year. Randy was um, Bob Hannon's in the booth with us with his brother maybe one of the best defensive backs we've ever had, play at Youngstown State and it, it would impress me. You were here last week. Randy Smith Sunday. was impressive last week on that last drive. His runs, and I know Dad is awful proud of what Randy Smith has done for Youngstown football. Fitzgerald will check back in. That was Will Bernie yeah. on that last big reception. They're doing a lot of subbing on their D-line, which I think you probably have to when you go against Ursuline. Donovan Bell-Sullivan just came back out, and uh, Josh Fitzgerald getting back in there on this delay here. I'm not quite sure what we're – got to believe the night? it's clock. Will Bernie, 14 receptions for 184 yards. One of the key guys out on the edges. Looks like we're back ready to get underway. Trips to the bottom, one man to the top. Yeah, see the trips, they have the man coverage again. It's going to be a keeper for Erickson. He's going to lower the shoulder. 
Yeah, that's Hoping Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald again. He's done a nice job. Pretty good job by the Fitch D not to go with Christian Lynch. Jack thought he can keep it and get his get some action, but good job by the defense. Ursland continues to go quick. Lynch will be to the right hip of Erickson. Second down and long. He's going to drop again. back. Oh. Has Bernie yeah, a little up. bit too strong yeah, in front of him. That's the one he'd like to have back. Had him on the crosser again. That's a touchdown. He's able to put that one in there. Pretty good protection again. Kind of getting, didn't get the feet set that time and missed on a pretty good throw. You got to like early on. Will Bernie's been able to get some yeah, separation. Yeah, he's getting some separation. They're playing one-on-one -on -one out here on the, on the corners. It's one-on-one -on -one out here. And off to Lynch on third and long. He's going to go up the gut. Grabbed by Fitzgerald. He'll be taken down at the 15. He'll be a few yards yeah, short you know, of the first down. They'll go for this fourth and two. Fitzgerald having himself a pretty good first drive here, Anthony. That's three or four tackles for him. Curious to see where they go here. They've been tough, stout in the middle. Erickson now going to look to the sidelines. And of see course, the, you know head coach Dan Reardon. Yeah, he wants to set the example yeah, he early wants on. to set the example. They're going to come with some heavy blitz package. Hand Lynch off is going to pick Lynch. it up. He's got it. Yep, first down. Oh, wow. Late flag coming in from our back referee. Face mask on Fitch, I think is what uh, the indication. So that'll go half the distance from there. Another first fourth down conversion. So they've been pretty huge here on this first possession. Good crowd on hand here tonight at Stambaugh Stadium. Two of the most competitive fan bases, I'll say, both oh, these schools. There is no question about that. We will have face mask on Fitch. That'll move Ursuline even closer yeah. to their goal like here. like to in the see end him zone. hit it through the right side behind Isaac and Branch. Erickson going to hand it off to Lynch. He's going to try to bounce it out to the left side. Oh, we're going to have some we'll get in, but we will have a holding in the Referee. Yeah, that's going to be a holding on the Irish receiver. Will Bernie, they're going to catch that time. Make sure our referee's all right. There's a heavy collision by the goal line. Knocked his hat off. If anything, I believe that was Bernie on the far edge. Yeah, I think it was they're going to get Will Bernie on the hold. That's a tough one there on the edge. Let's see what the call is. Yep, holding on the offense. Yeah, that's a tough call there for the touchdown. Take that off the board. We'll see our what we got here. Yep, that was wow. on Bernie. Block in the back, but I will just leave it at that. Huh? I don't think it was Will Bernie. That was a pretty good block by Bernie. He kind of just was. stood there and held his ground. It's kind of a pick right there. Yeah. Two guys. But that'll push Ursula Yeah, back. that hurts when you get in the end zone and you get backed up 10. Now you have first and goal from the 16. And that's huge for Fitch. Yeah, it is. And when you look at their sets, the Irish set, keep an eye on Dunlow in that little wingback position. They like to get him out of the backfield against a linebacker. Farrell in the slot to the bottom of your screen. It'll be a handoff to Lynch. Has some space. Yeah. Chopped down at the 10. Pretty good tackle there that by Cam Smith there. It's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Saving Those are two tackle. pretty good players right there with pretty good names. Yeah. Christian Lynch. His dad was one of the best at Ursland. I mean, there's athleticism oh, all it's, over the it's field. Both across ways. the field. They're playing man up, getting after one another on a good first drive. Here comes the blitz. Oh, and they're going to get Frasco on a false start. So we had second and goal from the nine. That'll push Ursland back again. But you got to think for both defenses to get these offenses behind the sticks, it has to be yeah. very crucial because this yeah, game these, isn't going to be Coach won Reardon by field will goals. will not be happy with the, with the false start penalty after the touchdown off the board. And now you're so deep. McGlone's been a pretty good field goal kicker. Three points may come into play here. You want to get a little closer. Second and goal from the 14. Like D.C. Farrell here on a crosser to this side if they could protect it. Manning to the bottom. Erickson going to keep it himself up the middle. Yep. He's going to rumble his way and forward inside the there. 10. Last line of defense, Cam Smith again on the tackle. So their Ursuline offensive line doing a pretty good job here against the front four of the Falcons. Is this third down? Yeah, third and goal. It is. 
I mean, yeah, Arista just keeps beating themselves yeah, you up may, because they're getting good games. They're down here now. The way they've held the ball this whole quarter, you may go for this and, and make them go the whole distance if you don't get anything. Erickson in the gun. He's going to roll out to his left. Has no one open. He's going to come back to his right. He's in trouble. Jack Erickson keeping the play alive. He'll throw that to the back pylon, and that'll be out of the end zone. That'll set up fourth and goal. We'll see what Coach Reardon decides to do here. Yeah, that's Coach Reardon wants a late hit out of bounds on his quarterback. He got hit way over by the Fitch student section. 7.03 to go in our first quarter. Here from Youngstown State University, Stambaugh Stadium. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call here tonight. Battle of the undefeateds here in the Valley. Person will keep the offense out. I think you go run here. I really do. They can run against this set. Erickson going to drop back. Got him back. on the throwback. Oh. That one's tipped by Robinson, and Urson will travel all the way down the field, but turn it over on downs. Yeah, that's a tough series there. Had a touchdown call back. Had that set up pretty decent. That was a nice job by Robinson yeah, recognizing what was coming. He read the coming. screen and got out of there. With that, we'll take a quick break. 6.58 to go in our first quarter. Quality, customer service, and integrity. Those are the four words that have driven our success since 1957 at Joe Dickey Electric. Joe Dickey Electric is one Mahoning Valley landmark business that stays current with the requirements of our customers. Family owned and managed, we are an electrical contractor and energy solutions provider. Every member of our team adds to his or her skill set through ongoing training. Residential, commercial, industrial, automotive, and more. We keep ahead of the needs of our customers with a fleet of more than 50 vehicles and 24 seven. 21 News delivers the news as it happens using the latest technology from where it happens. Live here outside the Mahoney County. On air, online. Uh, Wednesday afternoon weather update. Very dangerous. And on the 21 News social media platforms. On the road right 21 now. News, the Valley's Valley only Valley. locally owned source for trusted news since 1953. Your teams work hard and give it all they've got. Well, so does ours, because 21 Sports and YSN give you extra effort when covering local sports. 21 Sports and YSN, winning coverage of our Valley's teams. Six fifty-eight to go in our first quarter of play here from Youngstown State University. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call here tonight for Ursland against Fitch. The Falcons, big stand in, in their own red zone, forcing the turnover on downs. Now it'll be Fitch's job to travel down the field over yeah. 90 yards to go if for quarterback Deshaun Bond. If there's a good thing on a drive, it's how far they pushed them and have to make them go to distance here, but Fitch has the big play possibilities also. Vaughn in the gun. He'll keep it himself here on the first play from scrimmage, and he has a hole. Deshaun Vaughn will get it out across the 20. Yeah, so we've we seen pedal. both teams. Going to get a holding on the Falcons here, so right off the bat, a big play for them, going to get taken back. And that's what happens when you're – a defense that starts crashing on good running back keeps. We see it with wide shoe with Demetric. You start crashing, quarterback keeps are open all day. And we saw that. Demetric found the yeah, end zone Dimitric last week. Demetric found the end zone. Pretty good. Jaleel McLaughlin had a, another okay Just game. another 200 <laughs> yards. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's part of their dynamics. They get you outnumbered on the edge. And, and now Fitch is kicked back really deep towards our own end zone. It's going to be a handoff here to Jamel James. Yeah, Jamel that's James a, is the big back. Five, that is ten, a big tackle ten. in yeah, the open a, field. It's a great tackle in the open field, or he probably gets the first down. So pretty good first drive defense of Austin Tom Fitch answers. Michael Branch on the tackle for Ursland. We'll spread it out here for Fitch in the gun. On third down, it's going to be another handoff to James. 
He's going to try to muscle yeah. his way forward, but Ursland's standing strong. Actually, that was second down, my apologies. Yeah, pretty good play right there by the linebacker for now the Irish. Third down. It'll be third and very short. Johnny Frangos with a nice play. Frangos, only a sophomore. Yeah, Lorenzo Robar also in there, and the D-line held their own that time, so third and short. Third and very short here for Fitch. About one yard to go. Vaughn stands in the gun. Wouldn't be surprised if he goes back to James here. Yeah, you would think they'd go to the big fella for third and less than a two. See if the Irish can get a little penetration off the edge. And they will hand off to James. Yeah, he's just a bull. He's going to get that first down by about a half a yard. I mean, he's, it's just like Christian Lynch when you're yep. Ursuline. I you, mean, third always, and, and short well, yards always, to go. Always falling forward, getting that extra yard. Falcons get their first first down in the game. They'll go fast. Two teams that love to go fast. Vaughn will be under center. It'll be another handoff to Jamel James. Yeah. He'll get it close to the 25, Landon taken down Charles at the 24. The and that's what makes Fitch so dangerous Tigers is they can go quick yeah, with a guy like Jamel James. And Casey then Luger. So it's going to take three or four guys to bring him down. you got to keep attacking. And this is what I talked with you about in pregame. You want to make them go long field, long plays, uh, make them sustain drives. And Fitch was able to do that and keep the Irish out of the end zone. And right here, this is what makes him strong. James gets a couple carries. He heads out. DJ Williams heads yeah, into DJ the backfield. Williams is another two-headed monster. They played that well, but the Irish right there. That's Rohrball again on a pretty good tackle with Dunlow. So third and about four here for Austin Town Fitch. Clock down, going to be under four minutes after this play. Pretty fast moving first quarter. We talked pregame how you want to limit the big plays, yeah, but when are, you have two teams like this that yeah. run so much, it's hard to yeah, not sell out on the hard run. Hard not to sell out on the run, but you got four talented guys running routes. You got to be careful you don't bring too many. Trips to the top, one man to the bottom. Vaughn's going to keep it himself, yeah, has some, some space. Room to the edge. Oh, great tackle. Nice there. tackle by Farrell. Yep, going to be short of the first down, so it'll be fourth down. I would think Austin Town Fitch will have to punt the football. Nice tackle by Farrell. Putting his body on the line there. Yeah, this is a tough one here if you're Coach Parker. Oh, they're going to give him the first down there? Wow. Okay. First down now for Fitch. So they move the chains again. Second first down I here of the that drive. Was a pretty good play right there. I thought he was back to the line of scrimmage, but they'll give him the first down. Ursland substituting some guys in on the defensive side. It'll be a handoff to DJ Williams. He has a little bit of room. He'll be close to that first down marker again. Yeah, that they time give they it to able, him. They, they will. were able to hit the edge that time. Got to the perimeter. Another first down. Falcons on the move. Fitch starting to build some momentum, starting to move some bodies up front. Vaughn will give it right back to oh, him. He's stuffed there. in the backfield. Yeah. Nice play there, made by Isaac Lucas. Yeah, Isaac Lucas did a great job there. One on one, bring him down. So the two-headed monster off and running early for the Falcons. DJ's 5'10", 190, so 215 and 190 in your backfield. That's a, a long night of tackling. I don't put Fitch behind the stick, so we'll see if they yeah, this could decide be the quarterback to go to the passing play. game. Yeah, I, I think you'll get a little, excuse me, RPO with the quarterback. See if they can get it to the edge, a little counter play. And the Irish there again. Pretty good tackle again by the Irish. We'll fight forward for a few yards. Yep. Frangos again on the tackle, so third and long here for the Ursuline Irish. Subbing out of the game for Fitch is Bell Sullivan again. He's been in and out on both ends. Dom Perry to the bottom of the screen. Third and manageable here. Have to get it to the 48. Yeah, he just sat in there in zone coverage. First down. First catch of the night for yeah, Cam, Cam Smith. Smith. First down, Falcons. This is a Fitch team that kind of has a chip on their shoulder coming into tonight after how last year's game ended at Austin Town Fitch. I believe 48 to 47. Yep. Urson came out on top, blocked a uh, field goal with no time play left. Here. Vaughn will roll out. He'll find his man on the far edge. That's yeah, Jaden Ely. Ely gets tackled there by Manning. So pretty good job of the Falcons on the move here against the Irish. 
But so far, both secondaries are moving pretty well. Yeah, they are. With these You're skill playing guys. some zone, moving some skill guys around. You got to be patient. Get your plays when you have an opportunity. Second down and about five. Three men to the bottom. Jamel James in the backfield. Ball will go to him. That was Tyreek there, but a pretty good. He tried to strip the football. He was bringing him down, so third and one. And that's what I like about both these offenses. That's why when you go back and you, you maybe would have liked to see the Irish run the ball a couple times when they got it down there. Fitch is kind of staying consistent with what they do. It's third down here. We're going to be under a minute after this snap. First quarter going by fairly Whew. quick. Here from YSU. Highly anticipated matchup. Vaughn under center. James will be in the backfield. He'll turn and give. Jamel James bouncing it out to the right side. He has a hole across the 30, taken down at the 27-yard line. Yeah, they were able to hit the right side there. Good blocking by the Falcon O-line. Trenton Ciccarelli, sophomore, did a nice job on the right edge. 76 for the Falcons. Jack Knight, the senior. 245 made a nice block to lead the way there. Another first down. That was a nice tackle by Tyreek Dunlow. Yeah, Dunlow made a saving tackle there. Fitch starting to speed the pace up a little bit again. 35 seconds to go here in our first quarter. James will shift to the left side of Vaughn. It'll be play action. Has Ely caught five touchdown Fitch. Yeah, play action pass on the crosser. Pretty simple pitch and catch. Touchdown Falcons. So Austintown Fitch will draw first blood here tonight. You go to the run game so much we were talking yeah. about early on Got in the drive. You don't want coverage and run that crosser. You don't want to sell out on the run. So many weapons on the field for this Fitch team. This is one of the teams that beat in D2, I got to say, Steve. I, I agree with you. They're, I, mean, they're I don't want to be biased, but this is a, a strong team. Now on for the extra point attempt. Yeah, these are big Fitch. here. Extra points are big in this football game. Josiah Bernai. Snap to Vaughn. Kick is up. And the kick is good. Yeah, they go 96 yards for the touchdown. So pretty good answer by the Falcons, and they get points on the board. We'll take a quick break. Austin Town Fitch on the board first here from YSU. 60 years ago, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods began with three siblings, a handset sawmill, and a few local orders. And while business has certainly changed over the years, what has not are our principles of hard work, craftsmanship, and commitment to quality. At Baird Brothers, we're proud to put our name on the products we create, from moldings and doors to flooring and lumber. Thank you for 60 great years. We look forward to 60 more. Baird Brothers, for the place you love. storm season. I think we're under the gun for some heavy storms over the next couple of hours. And Storm Tracker 21 is ready. This is probably the one we're keeping a closer eye on. On air. And locally, we're going to have a lot of eyes on our area. Online. All right, let's talk high risk future cast and the timing of this weather. On social media and on our app. Rain will come and go tomorrow. There'll be some dry intervals. Stay ready with Storm Tracker 21. The severe weather threat now through around sunset this evening. Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come to pregame with half-off select appetizers in our dining room starting at 5 p.m. Also want to stay for the game? We'll be playing it live. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. Twenty-two seconds to go here in our first quarter of play from Stambaugh Stadium. Austin Town Fitch caps off a 96-yard drive with a touchdown pass from. Deshaun Vaughn to Jaden Neely, Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call here tonight. Steve, Fitch stopping a long Ursland yeah, drive. They answer with a long one of their own, but they capitalized. Yeah, they stopped a long one for sure. And you have to tip your cap to Fitch. Ursland made a couple pretty good plays, but the backs are so big. The forward lean gets some first downs, and then they hit you. When you start playing run, they hit you with the big pass play to Ely over the top. Pretty good drive. Now let's see if the Irish can answer. Josiah Bernai will kick it deep. For Fitch, deep to return for Urson will be Jaquees Liaison and D.C. Farrell. Yeah, they probably keep it away from D.C., I would think, is Coach Parker's strategy. Oh, 
Pitch kicking unit. Well separate. Good crowd on hand yeah, tonight from Stanball. Very good crowd. The student sections both have had the opportunities to get after it. This is what uh, the Mahoning Valley in high school football is all about right here tonight. Of course. Northeast Ohio football on a beautiful night. We've had some very good weather to start the year off. Another pretty good kick. Burn Isle kick it to Liason. He'll field it at the five. Got a little crease right there. Another pretty good return. Very good return out across the 30. Urson yeah. will start with good field position again. Yeah, that was a nice return there to get Johnny Ruggles 14 on the tackle for the Falcons. So last play of the quarter for the Irish here, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. And DC has not touched the ball for the Irish yet here in this first possession. Neither has Mark Manning. It's been Bernie and Lynch. So see if Coach DeSantis tries to change it up and give him some other looks. Urslan. Bowed out in the state championship game a year ago. Fitch bowed out to Hoban, who has been one of the best powers in the state of Ohio. They're going to try to play three on two up top there. Erickson going to keep it himself here on play number one. He has a hole. Nice juke. He'll get it out across the 45. Let's be taken down at the 46. Yeah, Deshaun Barnett on the tackle. First down. Jack Erickson. Another weapon once he gets in the open Yeah, that field. was a good play, good blocking. They're doing a lot of that three-by-one, and Fitch is sending two receivers out because you want to keep that extra defender in the box against their run game. But uh, Coach DeSantis and Reardon will start reading on that, and they'll just start pitching it out there and try to play three-on-two with the skill that Urson has. Great first quarter. That was the end of the first quarter. We'll stay right here. We'll give some updates here from around the valley. Waterloo on top 20-0. to and their ball game, Lakeview on top 7-0 to against Niles. Crestview on top 21-0. To West Branch on top 14-0. To Canfield on top 14-0. To They're welcoming a school from Canada yeah. here this week. Cheney and Canfield next week. That should be a very good football game. <laughs> Springfield on top of Lowville, 8-7 to right now. Lowville, this is a, a program defining game But here's the thing. They've lost them. so much, and they're in Division 7. They lost their first three. They could go five and five and probably make the playoffs. So a long way to go there. That's a big rivalry. It's a huge game for Lowville. And you look at Springfield's schedule being a D7 school. They played D3 Geneva a week ago. Yeah, they played some South Range, Geneva, obviously Brookfield, Brookfield who, who moved the ball against Ursland. So those three losses against Springfield are, are against some pretty good folks. For sure. And But as you were saying, don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but Cheney Canfield next week, that's a big game for yeah, D3 Region D3. 9. Those two with Ursuline in here, obviously Chardon, uh, Benedictine, there's some big-time folks. D3 may be the best in the state, in my I, opinion. I wouldn't, I wouldn't oppose that thought. I think something that we got to be lucky for is that Glenville is D4. They just got another kid with an Ohio State offer earlier this week, so the Tar Blooders now have four kids that are either committed to yeah, Ohio State, State or have offers. Yeah. So that's a factory over there. <laughs> we got a pretty good one over here. Why? Sure, he's going to have a pretty good future here, no doubt. Uh, they just, uh, you know, you get that talented group of classes four or five years in a row, and that's where they're at. But here's that three by one set I tell you about again, and Fitch is only playing it with one in Cam. So I'm sure the, the Irish staff is on top of that. But that keeps the extra guy in the box, as you see, for the Falcons. Ready again, back underway here. Second quarter action from Stambaugh Stadium. First play, handoff to Lynch, and he has a burst yes. taken down from behind by Brian Robinson. That's a saving touchdown right there, and you got to go right side again for the, for the Irish. Did a great job, Branch that's, and Lucas. That's a guy that started on the edge yeah. in Robinson, and Robinson. he ran down he ran Christian down. Lynch, who had a full and, head of steam. Lynch had a full head of steam. Pretty good hit. <laughs> Now Erickson go, in the gun. Now they got the man out of the box, so that's a big-time play. Another there. handoff to Lynch. He finds a way, though, to get his momentum moving yeah. forward. Took him three yards. Jay Sean Barrett yeah. came right through the gap. Took him for a couple yards. somebody got to come out of the game. I think Barrett has to come out, maybe some blood. Wouldn't surprise me. These guys are hitting hard. Oh, there's some hitting going on. There's some talking going on. And, and you know what? It has not been anything blatant. It's two good teams playing These football. That's what you'd like to teams. see. Jamel James will check in. Yeah, pretty good one. You could check him in yeah. your defense at 210. Him, him and DJ Williams yeah, at the linebackers. linebackers. But see, now they got the guy out of the box, so I'm yeah. curious here. 
Keeper for Erickson. He's going to roll out to his right. Taken down by Xavier Dunn. Right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that was a pretty good play. He tried to get around Xavier, couldn't do it. Third and five now. So the ex-Irishman having himself a pretty big first half here. He's got to be someone that's excited here tonight. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure he was ready to play. Has a lot of friendships on the other side of the football for sure. Third down and five. Two down Four territory. Ursland. So here I'd like to see him go run again. Got one-on-one -on, -one on the edge out here. Erickson. Play action. Has his man. Interference. Interference. Yep. Going to be on the Falcons. Davion Pritchard was all over Will Bernie. And you got to play Bernie tight. Of yeah, course, they were up one on one. Press coverage. And here's the thing to keep an eye on every snap's been a little high. And it's kind of throwing the timing of the play off a half a second. And when you've got a pretty good defense you're facing, you give them that little extra push, that could be trouble. But pretty good answer here by the Irish. And they've gotten that guy out of the box in the run game. First down, Ursland. Deep in Fitch territory. Fumble. Fumble. Ball on the ground, picked up by Fitch. And they're going to take that one the other way. Over 80 yards, DJ Williams. We'll take it to the house. Yeah, there's the play we talked about. You can't put it on the turf. The Falcons convert. Another long drive for Ursland. that will come up empty-handed. Trouble on the handoff to Lynch. DJ Williams with a birthday present right there. Yeah, that was a pretty simple scoop and score. And you go back to the saving touchdown by Robinson on Lynch. Yep. DJ Williams, one of the most explosive backs in the area, has a few Division I offers, only a junior. And that's the thing about both these teams. They have so many underclassmen on both squads. Burn eye on for the extra point attempt. Kick is up, and it's good. Austin Town Fitch, an early two possession lead on Ursland here tonight. We'll take a quick break. Second quarter action. Here from Youngstown State. Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come to pregame with half off select appetizers in our dining room starting at 5 p.m. Also want to stay for the game? We'll be playing it live. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. Quality, customer service, and integrity. Those are the four words that have driven our success since 1957 at Joe Dickey Electric. Joe Dickey Electric is one Mahoning Valley landmark business that stays current with the requirements of our customers. Family owned and managed, we are an electrical contractor and energy solutions provider. Every member of our team adds to his or her skill set through ongoing training. Residential, commercial, industrial, automotive, and more. We keep ahead of the needs of our customers with a fleet of more than 50 vehicles and 24-7 emergency service, so you're never left in the dark. Ten minutes, 15 seconds to go here in our second quarter of action from Stambaugh Stadium. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call for this highly yeah, anticipated matchup between yeah. Youngstown yeah. Ursland and Fitch. You hate to see plays like that. Christian Lynch has done, done so many good things. You hate to see the fumble, but tip your cap to Fitch. They get the big play. Long way to go. I mean, Ursland has moved the football twice. They have. Um, you know, it's not like Austin Town Fitch is shutting them down. They've made some big plays, gotten some big plays, but got a long way to go here. If you're Ursland now, you got to just try to cash one in here, try to get it to half 14-7 and go from there. DJ Williams. Return the Christian Lynch fumble roughly 85 yards. We see Williams with so many touchdowns on yeah. the offensive end, not too many on the defensive end. Opportunistic. We talked pregame, big plays, and there's a big one off a of turnover. Those are those are the two things we covered: yep. big plays and turnovers. It's pretty you get even. The there, combination right there. There's some big big boys on both sides. And this is kind of a the script flipped. From last year, it was Ursland who kept was, yeah, getting those two possession two leads. Yeah, now so it's Fitch. Fitch on top. Now they want to keep it on top like they have. 
Josiah Burnai. But you see Let's some of the up. Fitch guys. Yeah, they're having fun, but they're gassed as you watch them sit over here in front of you. Their defense has been on the field a long time. Farrell and Liaison. Deep to return for the Irish. Burnai will boot it deep towards Liaison again. He'll let zone. it go in the end zone. The special teams has been big for them. They've pinned the Irish deep here a couple times. It's a nice kick for Josiah yeah, Burnai. He's done a nice job. So this Urson offense will come out yet again. Going to have to hit the quick reset. Yeah, this reset. is one here you want to hit a reset and put that play behind you and kind of go back to work. Jack Erickson has moved the ball well for this Ursuline offense, especially that last possession. He kept it himself a lot. A lot of these zone reads are on this Fitch defense. Their edges, Don and Robinson, right. they're, they're kind of selling out yeah, on Lynch, so that gives Erickson Lynch, an so opportunity to keep it. Room here, but have not been able to move the front four. Some immovable objects for the Falcons up front. Spread look for Ursuline. Two to the bottom, two to the top. Manning will come in motion. Handoff here to Christian Lynch. He'll get it to the 20-yard line, but he won't get much more. I'd say played that one really well. Nice job by the Fitch defensive line again. You can kind of yeah, name Fitch, everyone there. They had all Josh, the bodies Josh there. Fitch Darrow in there, number 20, going to come up for the Falcons. Yep, Fitch Darrow in Devin on the tackle. Phillips comes out. So second and long for the Irish. Just a big possession here for Urson. You don't want to give Fitch the ball back. Kylan Foster also in on the tackle. Irish will stay. That four wide out set, two to the top, two to the bottom. Lynch to the right hip of Erickson in the gun. Jack Erickson will drop back. He'll try to evade the pressure. He'll dump it off to Christian Lynch. Yeah, they were all Erickson does a good one. job getting it back to the line of scrimmage. But Rob, it'll be third down yeah, and long. Robinson was sitting out there on. He's done a pretty good job in their screen game. So third down. Robinson's been pretty much playing as a spy yeah, for a lot of tonight. watching Erickson. That's a good call on your part. I mean, just a lot of bodies again getting to the ball for Fitch. Xavier Don also yeah, out there. The Erickson going to drop back. He'll have to get rid of that one. Yeah, they brought incomplete. the extra, extra rush guy. Not able to pick up the blitz, so Irish going to have to punt the football away. Fourth down and 11. First, and like you said, they're going to have to punt it. Yeah, Fitch. that's a pretty big possession there. Brought the extra blitzer. O-line not able to pick it up. Big big defensive stand for Urs, or for Austin Town Fitch. It'll be Dan Evans deep to return. Ursuline, a team that has not had to punt much this season. It'll be Mark Manning deep to do the favor. Yeah, got to be careful here. Good snap there to Manning. It's going to be a line drive punt. That's a pretty good punt. <laughs> Very nice roll. Evans will field it inside his 30. It's a good He'll punt. He'll get by 10 Mark yards Manning. back. But a very nice punt by Mark Manning. We'll take a quick break. 8.53 to go in our second quarter. Ursuline against Fitch, YSN Live. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash Trumbull. Welcome back. First down and 10 here for Fitch. Deshaun Vaughn, kind of a broken play. He'll keep it himself. Yeah, they did. Pretty good attack there. The Irish need a defensive stop here. You want to get the ball back one more time before the half. Yeah, we've seen Fitch milk a lot of clock. It seems like Ursuline's been doing it. It's 14-0, it. it just doesn't feel that way. It doesn't. I mean, it, they've moved the ball, and Austin Town Fitch is talented, no question. They've made the big plays, and big plays win when two good teams go against one another. Of course. 8.25 to go in our first half, clock rolling. 
Deshaun Vaughn in the gun. He'll drop back. He's looking deep. Far side, that one's incomplete. And see now again, are you kind of getting away from yourself here now for them? They've been able to run the football with the big backs and a couple pass plays that go third and long. So big play in this ball game on third down. I, I think the Irish need to stop here to get some momentum back. Vaughn was looking for Dom Perry and very quickly yeah, now. Very third quickly. down and it's long. Third and long. Third and 13. And they've done a good job on Urson's pass rusher. Dunlow has not been able to get the pressure that he was able to get. So Irish look like they're playing man up. Be a keeper for Vaughn. That's a good play there and a good series for Urson. That is a very good series. That could be a momentum yeah. shifting that series That is a momentum for shift to one. Good call, partner. Frangos again on the tackle, one-on-one -on -one at the linebacker spot. Good stand for the Irish. Good football. Right now being played, good tackling both ways. And it's been a clean game so yes, far for the most I, part, I besides before, that first that, possession. You know, I'm sure there's some talking and hot hooting going on, but <laughs> pretty clean football game right now between two stud football teams. Anthony Ruggles will be the punter. Yeah, here's where you got to be careful. Will Bernie will be deep to return for Ursland. 7.40 to go in our first half. And like you said, that's a drive that Ursland needed right yeah, there. Needed Quick one, stop. three and out. That's their first three and yeah, out of the first night. First three and out of the ball game, so a big one. Snap to Ruggles. That's a good kick, That's boy. A there. Very good kick. That'll send Bernie back inside his own 20. He'll field it. Will Bernie with some space. He'll cut back. That yeah, pretty good return by Will Bernie there to get some 15 yards back. The intensity is at an all-time high. Oh, it's high. all over. Every tackle, every play. Crowd's getting into Crowd's it. Crowd's into it. Some upside down use by the Falcons. <laughs> Two teams just having fun playing. That's what do you love about high school football? I just would like to see maybe Dunlow get involved a little bigger back to give Christian a little blow here. They've done a pretty good job his last two or three carries of shutting that down. And they've made the adjustment with the three by one, keeping that guy out of the box. But Fitch has kind of countered that and been able to sneak that next defender back into the run box. Ersland offense now coming back out onto the field. Jack Erickson in the gun. Be a handoff here. Boy, that's to one Lynch. tackle, one play away from Christian Lynch going to the house, and it's a game-saving touchdown tackle by number 42 for the Falcons. Or he's off to the races, Anthony. DJ Williams. Williams. We saw him come up big yeah, earlier. He came off that edge there. That was one-on-one -on -one for six yards, but that could have been a house call. Fitch has been stacking the box early on. We haven't seen Urson go for any deep passes so far. Got to think it'll happen sometime here during this drive. Yeah, Another handoff to Lynch. He's hit hard. Once you get to that mid-level. You're going to get hit. Christian Latone on the tackle, but Urson likes where they're at. Third and short. Uh, keep the defense on the field, which I think Urson and, and Coach Reardon wants to do. Bernie now you just got to convert. The Another quick handoff here to Lynch. He's met at the line. I don't, I don't know if he got it. They're going to mark him a little short. And now what do you do? I mean, you got to go for it here. Now they gave him the first down. They gave it to him. Yeah. So, again, doing good things, running clock. Obviously, points here before the half would be huge for them, but you want to keep their offense off the field also. Of course. Manning and Farrell to the top, yeah, I just, Bernie to the bottom. I, I just smell a DC somewhere on a, on, I don't know if a trick play, something to try to get him involved here. Erickson dropped the snap. He'll have to jump on it. And, those and have been the ones will be that have way hurt behind you. the sticks again. Yep. A little off timing on the snap, and those have been the ones that have hurt this football team. That snap was right there, though. Just took his eyes off of it, so... Second and 15, and when you go against a good defense, these are tough sledding. Yeah, especially against Fitch. And we we knew how good Fitch was coming in tonight, but boy, do they look impressive yeah, early on. They're dropping a little zone coverage here. Erickson going to find Dunlow. Yeah. DJ Williams knocks him out of bounds, so a short game, third and long now. But this game is going to go so far for both teams. Yeah, I, I, again, we talked about that already. These are two teams that have expectations further down the road and, and that's no taking away from this football game but this one will prepare them for what they play oh, yeah. down the rest of the way Jack just, Erickson will drop yeah, back here in the gun hasn't had enough time to pass the football they've been getting heat on him got time here he does across Over the middle him. too high picked off here comes Fitch the other way again across the 20 cutting back 
and taken down inside the Ursland red zone yeah, Brian will Butler. be Brian Butler. Yep, there's the big play again, overthrew. Had the slant receiver open, overshot it. Turnover number two for the Irish. We saw Erickson do that last week, had an overthrow against Farrell that was picked off in yeah. the red zone. Now if Fitch you're the D here, you have to go to work and try to get a stop here, but you're gonna see ground and pound, I think, with the Falcons here. This is a huge chance. Because Fitch does get the ball to start the second half too. So this is a big drive. 5.28 to go in our second quarter. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call here from Youngstown State. Interesting yeah, look here for take Fitch. A timeout, so. Ursland will take a timeout. You had the two backs, Jamel James and DJ Williams, lined up in the backfield. We'll take a quick break. 5.28 to go in our second quarter here from YSU. Planning a project around your home or rental property? Trust the electrical service to the local experts with 62 years of serving the Mahoning Valley. Joe Dickey Electric is your local go-to source for responsive, reliable residential electrical work. From everyday maintenance and repairs to new installations, electrical upgrades, and safety inspections, no job is too big or too small. Call Joe Dickey Electric today, 800-549-3976, or visit DickeyElectric.com. That's DickeyElectric.com. Fall is in the air. The kids are back to school, crowds are cheering for the home team, and Myers Family Insurance is prepped for another crazy Medicare season. Every year there's changes, some big, some small, so it's important to have a conversation to make sure your plan is going to meet your expectations for the coming year. Give our team a call today to schedule your annual review. For all your Medicare needs. Little Wildcat as we come back right put as both, we come back put both guys in the backfield so you, you, they're playing four down territory with their 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 run game we have a flag off sides on Ursuline after a timeout so free five yards Ursuline I don't we've had one penalty I want to say on Fitch tonight and it was yeah. on that pass interference we've Ursuline's been kicking themselves in the foot that they had their touchdown on the first drive taken yep. away oh. yeah now they wave the flag off so yeah, that first touchdown drive by the Irish, when you go back and look at that one, that's a big play in the ball game. It's a very big play. So they'll stick with it, though. James will be in the backfield. Williams to his side. It'll be a handoff to DJ Williams. He's going up the middle. He'll get into the end zone. Fitch will extend the lead. Yeah, that time. Little sweep to the left. Cleared the edge, crashed the corners, and well blocked for a touchdown. DJ Williams, his second touchdown of the night. One on offense, one on defense. Fitch is now an extra point away from a 21 point advantage here in our second quarter. Yeah, pretty good start to the second quarter. Josiah Bernay on for the extra point attempt. Rocco DeFlorio, the holder. Snap good. Kick is good. 21 to 0, Gonna Falcons. Get a roughing the kicker, too. So it'll be 15 on the extra point. And mistakes. We've talked about it. A couple turnovers, big time turnovers, uh, some penalties. Uh, you know, two even teams, and, and Fitch is taking advantage of opportunities. Hats off to them. And we haven't seen Ursland trail like this. I mean, you have to go deep into last season. Maybe the Chardon game? Maybe. This is the last time they've been down by that many. You go back to last week, a game against Farrell that had 11 lead changes. Such an emphatic victory for Ursuline. You knew there was a lot of adrenaline coming into this one as well. Fitch has answered the bell all night long. Started off the scoring tonight. 96-yard drive to Sean Vaughn to Jaden Ely. And then 85-yard fumble return by D.J. Williams. Got their second touchdown, and then our last one right here. D.J. Williams' touchdown run after an offsides call. Fitch clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, I think, you know, it's been a combination of things. Now, Urson, you want to try to get one down before the half and get into the end zone, but the momentum's there. 
Uh, Fitch has done a great job to take away the skill of Ursland. Christian's hit some big runs, but they've also made two or three tackles that are, are game-saving touchdown tackles that have been big in this game. Bernie will tee it up for Fitch. Yeah, you got to remember as well that Austin Town will get the ball to start the second yeah, half. Yeah, so you have to try to convert at least one of these back here for sure. Some score updates from around the valley. South Range 14, Struthers 7 in the second quarter. Whew. Lakeview on top of Niles 7 0. Poland on top of Hubbard 14 to 13. Gerard on top of Jefferson 7 to 6. Yeah, some good football games tonight. There's a lot of good football games. Mike Ackleson on the audible call right now. I'm sure he's having a very fun night back here. Sure. And this has been HQ. big. Bernie's been able to put the ball deep in the Irish position and, and kept it away from DC as he's doing it. Farrell, the line to the right, Lais on to the left, and Bernie again will kick it away from Farrell. Actually, that's Lais on on the right side of the field. Big hit. Yeah, there's some hitting going on. Right inside the 20. Yeah, there's some big time hitting going on. Number 20 for the Falcons. Comes in and lays the boom. And right now the Falcons playing a little more passion. Devin Phillips. Yep. So, I mean, you look back at this first half so far for Ursa and it's been the turnovers. Yeah. The turnovers and the penalties. Yeah, penalty that takes back a touchdown, gets stopped on downs inside the 10, and they go 90 yards for a touchdown on one and then a scoop and score and then another short field touchdown. So they've converted on all their opportunities. So the Ursuline offense will head back out. We'll have three guys to the bottom, one lone man to the top. Erickson joined by Lynch. It'll be a handoff here to Christian Lynch. Yeah, that's Robinson again. Brian Robinson yep. in on the tackle. Robinson, six foot five, yeah. 235 pounds. Christian pound on the other side. So they're very athletic up front. Erickson going to drop back here. Be a dump off to Manning on the screen. Yeah, they're all over their screen game. And the athleticism and the Fitch defense is what's stopping their, their screen game. They're not enough room to get guys involved. Cam Smith did a nice job to block Bernie right back into Mark Manning, and there was nothing there, so third and long. Another third and long for this Ursuline offense. It'll be third down and 12. Long field to go. Erickson will drop back. Look across the middle, has Pretty his man. Good throw there. Will Bernie on the reception. I believe he has the only two receptions yeah, I think he's the tonight. only one that's caught the football. Good throw there by Jack. Will Bernie's a good football player. We had him on Tuesday night. You know, these guys will keep playing. Hopefully that's one of those throws that will let Erickson settle in. Hand off to Christian Lynch. Watch for the face mask. Yeah, Christian that time, nice forward lean for four or five. Kylan Foster. Looked like he did have the hand up on the face mask. No call. I think this is one of the only teams you'll see this year that Erson will play on Fitch on the opposite side. They might have him in height in almost every position. There's Christian a lot of big again, kids. Pretty good run there. So another nice run. They've moved the football. Good blocking by the O-line up front. They've spent a lot of time in Fitch territory. Christian Lynch is a tired young man. That looks a little dinged up. Looks like we'll have to take a quick injury timeout. Yeah, I don't know if he got, looks like he got nicked a little bit. Physical football game for sure, and he's probably got 15, 20 totes already. Coming off a game last year where he had 44. 44. Might be bleeding, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've talked about it, physical football. Yeah. Nothing, you know. Just playing hard. Looks like he may have bumped his head on the turf. And that's the thing. You go back and you look at yardage in this game. It's probably pretty even. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. But the Ursland turnovers. And you go back to when we talked with Coach Reed at the dawn. He wanted, that's something he wanted to stay away from, turnovers. I'm sure that's something he's going to preach in the locker room. 78 yards so far for Lynch on 10 carries. Yeah. A walk off. I mean, he's a strong kid. I mean, these are back-to-back -back brutal weeks for Ursland because if you were tuned in last Saturday, 
those Pharaoh boys were hitting hard, too. Oh, there's no question. I, I think, you know, these this, teams, we, we said early, that they will play anybody. <laughs> of um, course. Yeah. I mean, Urson leading the all-time series 21-19 to 19, with a tie also in there as well. First down and 10, Ursland. Tyreek Donlow now in at running back. Erickson will drop back. We'll have Will Burney at the 40. Makes a man miss. Taken Another down saving, by yeah. the ankles. That's like three or four. That... Well, Bernie's having himself a nice football game. Nice open field tackle. Another touchdown saving tackle. Yeah, that's, that's six. But blockers out in front. I'm impressed by this Irish drive here. I really am. Jay Sean Barrett on the tackle. He's a little slow to get up. And I think the second half will just come down to who's, yeah. who's the more – the word I'm looking for. Who will be less fatigued in our second half? Both these teams, of course, big in roster size, yeah. so a lot of guys that only play one way. Right, that get recruited by a lot of people, <laughs> D1s, D2s. Um, I mean, I Fitch, seven guys with Division One offers, yeah, Ursuline, five uh, guys. Right, it's um, arguably the two best teams in the Valley. It's, it's, it's what you – play football for it's these are the games play high play school for. football you know and you've gone through scores a lot of good football games tonight no question that we have some talent in this area no doubt you got to say week four around this time week four week five is when teams really start to hit their stride yes school starts up you get to into a weekly flow and we said before win or lose the loser this game but you, you learn and you get better you got to lick your wounds but and then you go look at who they play the next weeks. Yeah. Ursland <laughs> goes to Harding. <laughs> Loser I mean, of the game has to be the team that these two squads play next week. Right. So a lot of good things here. you got to clean up some things, try to get a score before half, and, and make it a two-score game that you're never out of. Ursland plays Harding. Fitch will host a school from Buffalo, New York. So yeah. out-of-state foe coming in next week. Stack look to the bottom. Will be a handoff here to Christian Lynch. Bounce it out to the right side. It's a great tackle again. Another good Thought tackle. He may have had an edge. Pitch is tackled really well on the perimeter. Jamel James on that tackle, but again, Christian able to get five. It's a team that'll win tonight. Whoever's more physical, you can't go for the legs tonight. You gotta no, go you high. You gotta be up top, and it's been some solid tackling both ways against some talent in the backfield. Erickson will hand it off to Lynch. And they're down on the legs that time. That was a little slow developing there. That was a great job by Dan Evans sniffing yeah, that one out Dan from the Evans corner. Dan Evans off the edge a little bit from his corner spot. He had that one red before the ball was even handed off. It's third down for Ursuline. Third and five. False start on the far side of the field, top of your screen. Yeah, those are things that you can't have. And I'll take him back. So yeah, that'll be third and ten. That have really hurt this football team. So you go from... Second and third and five to third and ten. Third and ten now for the Irish. And now the, the Falcon front can pin their ears back and bring that extra rusher. And here they come. Erickson will drop back. Evades the pressure. Incomplete. Yeah. So this will be fourth and ten, and these are the spots that they put themselves in with penalties. Nice job by Erickson of extending the play. Yeah, just not much to go to. Tried to hit Christian. Going to take a timeout here for Ursuline. Timeout, Ursuline. We'll take a quick timeout of our own. Fourth down and 10 Irish, 2.47 to go in our second quarter. Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come to pregame with half-off select appetizers in our dining room starting at 5 p.m. Also want to stay for the game? We'll be playing it live. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. Welcome back. 2.47 to go here in our second quarter. Austin Town Fitch making a statement here in the first half yeah, away from home. They made some big plays. They really have. They brought pressure when, when they get Urson into a passing opportunity. has been the, the most impressive thing, and they've made some, some solid tacklers against some open field spots for the Irish, but big fourth down conversion here for Urson. 
Some score updates from around the valley. Hubbard retaking the lead on Poland, 21 to 14 in the second quarter there. Salem on top of Canton Central Catholic, 17 to 14. Fourth down and 10, Ursland. 2.47 to go in our second quarter. Got to get the ball to the 20-yard line to keep the drive alive. Erickson going to unload, looking for Manning in the end zone. Picked off. Another interception here for Fitch. Davion Pritchard. Yeah, that time tried to run the fade to the corner. Pritchard sat right underneath it the whole way. Got a pretty easy pick. Now there's 2.40 to go here in the second quarter still, yeah, so Fitch could put together a drive. Fitch will try to hurry one up here and go down and get some points and another turnover. Erson moves it down inside the Falcon 30. So that's three times they've had the ball in the red zone, down near the red zone, and haven't been able to convert. Of course, there's still a lot of football to be played, but Erson with a very steep hill to climb. You really wanted to reach, at least get something on the board yes, before did. the break. No doubt. And, you know, the penalty kind of takes you out of what you want to do there. Had it third and five, and then had to go fourth and ten and two passes. Spread look for the Falcons, two to the top, two to the bottom. Deshaun Vaughn going to drop back and dump it off to Jamel James. He has some space across the 30. He'll leap forward, and he'll be taken down at the 35-yard yeah, line. Makes a nice tackle there. That one could still be on the move. So if you're the Irish, you've got to stiffen up and not let them get another one in the end zone. Don't want to see James with a head of steam coming at you. Empty look, keeper for Vaughn. He'll get across the 35 before he's taken down yeah, John Frangos. by John Frangos. As I was saying, both these teams with a lot of underclass. I mean, we've mentioned Fitch before, but Vaughn, the quarterback for Fitch, a junior, I meant to say, Ursland. Dan Evans only a junior. DJ Williams a junior for Fitch. A lot of these guys are going to be coming back next year. Hand off to there. James. He'll get it out to midfield. Pretty good blocking by the Falcon O-line. So they're on the move here going quick, trying to get another one before the half. Put this on ice. Jamel James, who Fitch really missed last year, missed the whole 2021 season with an injury. Another handoff right here. And I'm sure a guy like James looking back to last year's matchup, that's a guy that was just itching to get on the field. Yeah, Isaac right there on the tackle with Dunlow. So pretty good stop there for the Irish. Isaac Lucas has been in on quite a few yeah, tackles. Yeah, he's been in a lot of plays. James will check out. Williams will check back in. Michael Branch at the other defensive tackle. The Irish been rotating in it. Second and seven. Late pitch to Williams. He'll get across the 40. He'll be taken down at the 35-yard line. Tackle made by Tyron Davis. Yeah, another good drive there. Faked the quick pass and ran the old toss sweep. Was able to get to the edge. And that's a very good read by Vaughn. Yeah, attracting is. the defense in and then pitching it out brought to Williams late. Brought that defender, a good call, and got the pitch, and you get one of your athletes in space. And Bernie with the leg obviously can get down even in the field goal range here. Timeout called, 116 to go in our second quarter of action. If you're just now tuning in, Fitch made a statement early on. 96-yard touchdown drive. After stopping Ursland deep in the Fitch red zone, Deshaun Vaughn to Jaden Ely. Touchdown pass inside the Ursland red zone. Got Fitch on the board. And an 84-yard fumble return by DJ Williams made it 14-0 Fitch. Then a 15-yard touchdown run by Williams on the last drive for the Falcons. Gave them their third score yeah, of the night. The big score and then a short field score. And now pretty good drive here to end the half. So two good drives off of... Evans coming in motion. It'll be a sweet play to Dan Evans. Across the outside, this one will come back. Quick burst for Evans. We'll see if this one stands yeah, this up. This one's going to call back some holding. I think Evans knew it too. Yep. Got his hands on the edge, so we got some holding. So that so one will come each back. Team gets one called back. We'll see if Ursland can stand tall here now on the defensive end. And that's the first time we've seen one of those sweet plays to Evans tonight, so I'm sure Coach Parker is kind of kicking himself up, yeah. there. You can't call a play like that too often. Seeing the replay, yeah, he definitely had the jersey, no spun him and spun the shoulder. Pretty easy call for the referee. This one's coming back a long ways out to the 45-yard line. First down and 20 now for Fitch. 
108 to go in our second quarter. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie live here from a Pac Stambaugh Stadium. Week four action here on YSN Live. Yeah. Got to try to get a stop and get to halftime and regroup. It'll be Vaughn. Their passing game has been a big difference in this game, too. They've oh, had for some sure. big plays when they've had to. Deshaun Vaughn will drop back. Halfback screen to DJ Williams. He'll get some of that yardage back across the 40, pushed down at the 36. Tyreek able to run him out of bounds there. Pretty good athleticism by him to a back to the edge. We'll set up on second down and 11. Nice tackle by Donlow. Fitch, of course, looking for revenge from last year's 48-47 defeat against the Ursuline Irish. What an exciting game that was oh, last no year. No question. Down to the last play. Deshaun Vaughn will drop back here on second and 11. See, looking to the open. top of the screen. Has his man. That was Dan Evans, yep. who just scored that touchdown that got called back. He'll pretty, be tripped up at the 19. Yeah, zone coverage, off coverage, just good protection, pretty simple throw. He has time. Yeah, that's something that Jack Erickson hasn't that had tonight. Has not had, and that's been a bit another big key to this game. Fitch back in the red zone. 46 seconds, now 45 clock rolling here to go in the second quarter. Vaughn will hand it off, actually he'll keep it himself. Makes the first man miss. He'll be gang tackled yeah, Frank at the 12. The tackle. Timeout will be called by Fitch. 28 seconds to go here in our second quarter. Yeah, that'll be Fitch's last time. Or I think they may have one more left. Nice read by Vaughn. Got the D line to attract towards Williams. Kept it himself. Got a good amount of yardage. It'll be second down for Fitch from the 14-yard line, from the 13, actually, when we resume. Big first half from Boardman tonight against Howland. 27-6, they lead that one. Boardman has faced some very tough yes, competition early on this Coach year. Coach Dota each week. Good for him to see his group get going. Face the likes of Cheney, Maslin Jackson, yeah, Mooney. Not, yeah. So, so they're looking for their second yeah, win on second the season. It'd be nice for you to sit and chat with him again next week. Of course. Love talking to Coach Dota Wednesday nights. Steve and I, of course, started yeah, this Tuesday week at the Golden Dawn. Gone. Got a few other things in the mix. Hopefully, we'll be breaking some news next week for a couple of schools to get opportunities to go and do what we like to do. A school that we've talked about a lot here tonight. Yeah, one that, which may, I would love to be able to get that going here for the next couple weeks. I think Austin Town Fitch is one of those teams you like to go out and support for sure. Deshaun Vaughn, DJ Williams in the gun. Two guys bunched up at the top and bottom. Evans coming in motion. Vaughn will roll out to his right. He'll look to the end yeah. zone. Has his man. Touchdown, Austin Town Fitch. They continue to impress here Just in the second quarter. Jaden Ely on the reception. Zone coverage. And not a whole lot of pressure there. Has time, sets his feet, runs a little crosser in front of the zone. and Well blocked. You can add on to the Fitch lead. Yeah, that's, you know, now you're getting into one more score and the clock could be running. 27-0. 28 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Took Fitch about a minute and a half to march down the field. His offense looks good. Burn eye on for the extra point attempt. Snap good, kick is up, splits the uprights. Austin Town Fitch extends the lead once more. We'll take a quick break. 28 seconds to go here in our first half. We know when it comes to insurance, you have so many choices. But if you're looking for someone who lives in your community, someone who cheers for your community, and someone who works for your community like you're part of our family, well then please let us introduce ourselves. Hi, we're Heiner Insurance. How can we help?
Welcome back here to Youngstown State University. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call tonight. Austin Town Fitch coming to town here against the Ursan Irish. And they have looked mightily impressive here in the first half. Steve, got to say, you do enjoy, though, getting the natural sound here in the booth tonight. I do love the natural sound. That's a great part of why I send hats off to you for getting that. I, I don't want to say shocked because I think Fitch is that good. Mm -hmm. and, I, and that would be a, a little discredit to how good I think Urson is. But they've done what they're supposed to do tonight, get stops, get big plays. For, um, force turnovers. Penalties, force turnovers. Uh, they've done everything right in the first half, and that's why we're at 28 nothing. <laughs> they look like a well-oiled machine. No, there's no question. They have some very good athletes. Josiah Burnite teased the ball up. Great crowd on hand here tonight from Stambaugh Stadium. First game of what should be a very exciting weekend. Youngstown State, their second game of the year tomorrow, hosting the Dayton Flyers. That one will squib and roll into the end zone. Urson will get it at the 20 with 28 seconds to go here in our second quarter. And something that really hurts the Irish about giving up that late second quarter touchdown yeah, is that Fitch gets the ball to start the third yeah, quarter. Start the third quarter. You get a stop and you, you, you think it's going to go to half and they go 80 yards for another touch. So two long drives for a touchdown, a scoop and a score and a squ short field touchdown uh, have pretty much played a perfect first half. And Coach Parker will never tell you that. I, I, no. I know how he is. He won't tell you that. But pretty dynamic. And the pass game, I knew the running backs were good, but their pass game looks pretty good tonight. Urson's opponent next week, Harding, currently trailing 20-6 to six to Maslin. But talk about a team that's getting a tough opponent this week as well in Harding. Maslin, Washington, one of the best teams in the state. Pass here to D.C. Farrell, his first touch of the first half. Yeah, that's the first one They'll there. Get a first soft down. coverage, you're going to give up that there. They've done a great job limiting his touches. So a good game plan by the Falcon defense. We saw a little taste of what Farrell can do in there. Home opener for Ursuline against Brookfield earlier on. Had a pick six. Took a, a ball on a slant or a drag about 80 yards. Jack Erickson rolling out to the right. He'll get rid of it. Very risky dump off to Christian Lynch. He'll stay in bounds and Urson will not elect to stop the clock. Yeah, He'll Don let it roll. Had. We'll go to the half. Yeah, Xavier Don's had a big first half. A little bit of a homecoming game for Don. Played last year for the Urson Irish. Was a big member. Played a big role. We'll have a timeout here with three seconds to go in the second quarter. It looks like we have an injured Falcon. Yeah, it looks like a cramp, but she's down more on the ankle from where we're. No, it's, well. Let's hope it's, it's a cramp. Out. Yeah, let's hope it's a cramp. You don't want to see anybody get hurt in a game like this. Of course not. And, of course, we're not going to say this game is over by any means. There's a lot of football to be played, but if right. you're Fitch, you of course you want, you want your ones to finish out the first half. A lot, of, a lot of talking to do, though, in the locker room for Urson, and Steve. If you're Coach Reardon, I mean, what are you telling these guys going in the locker room? I, I think it's hard to hit the reset them, button. It's, you you, you got to try to hit reset um, one possession at a time, and, and they've moved the football. Uh, you, you know, I think that's probably, for them, the, the disappointing thing because they, they probably should have had some points up on the board. but Multiple times. Yeah, but you have to credit a good defense, too, that's also making plays. Uh, I, I think the big thing for them will be their, their the turnovers, obviously, and the penalties, I think. Coach Reardon will be a little more disappointed in in this first half. But, uh, you yeah. know, you just got to go play the second half like it's nothing, nothing. And you learn a lot yeah. from a half like I, I think you do learn a lot. Sometimes, you know, as a coach and doing what we do, sometimes losing is the best dose to, to get you back on, on task to what you want to do. And, and that's where – And you see who your right real now. leaders yeah. are. And I think Urson has great leaders. They've played a lot of football games, a good coaching staff. It's just one of those first halves that it's kind of gotten away from them really fast. And you go back to a game like Chardon last year where the Hilltoppers jumped out, what, 30, 30 to zero, 0 in the first I mean, half? Down to a one-score game. So, I mean, those possibilities are there. Is and, and that was a yes. completely different team last yeah, year, though, yeah, you got to say. a difference, and the pass game for the Falcons has been, to me, uh, some of the big plays on, on their touchdowns in the pass game have been the difference. That was Dan Evans who... Got helped off the field. He's had a very big second quarter. Erickson going to drop back. He'll throw it down to Farrell here in the open field. We'll see what he can do. Last play of the first half. Gets across midfield. And he's taken down Yeah, at the 40-yard line. But Great Fitch was giving that up. Yeah, they're giving those plays up. They'll give them to that before the half. But 
Pretty good half for the Falcons. Very good half for Fitch. That'll take us to the break. 28 to zero. First half domination for Austintown Fitch. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have second half action here from Youngstown State. News delivers the news as it happens using the latest technology from where it happens on air online Wednesday afternoon weather update very dangerous and on the 21 news social media platforms I'm on the road right now. 21 news the valley's only locally owned source for trusted news since 1953. At Greenwood Chevrolet, we offer a worry-free experience for all our customers. From sales to financing and even service, we'll help build your perfect vehicle. And lock in your trade value while your vehicle is being built. No worries. We guarantee financing. Regardless of your situation or credit history. No worries. And when your vehicle needs service, our award-winning team will get you back on the road. No worries. That's what going the extra mile means. Only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Quality, customer service, and integrity. Those are the four words that have driven our success since 1957 at Joe Dickey Electric. Joe Dickey Electric is one Mahoning Valley landmark business that stays current with the requirements of our customers. Family owned and managed, we are an electrical contractor and energy solutions provider. Every member of our team adds to his or her skill set through ongoing training. Residential, commercial, industrial, automotive, and more. We keep ahead of the needs of our customers with a fleet of more than 50 vehicles and 24-7 emergency service, so you're never left in the dark. Hi, this is Zell Bush. Hi, this is Tom Flynn. Hi, this is Steve Rossetto. Hi, this is Ryan Miller. Hi, this is Rich Satui from WRS Wealth Advisors. With our combined 80 years of experience, WRS Wealth Advisors are the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. 330-965-0370 to learn more about our individual and corporate financial planning services. Or visit wrswealth.com. Go Raiders. Go Dogs. Go Cats. Go Dogs. Go Tigers. change. This one word can make you break out in a cold sweat. But with change comes wisdom, experience, and understanding. At Myers Family Insurance, we can help make changes in Medicare, insurance, and retirement a positive experience for you and your family. We've gone through changes, like our new office and new faces to help our family of clients too. For all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. Check us out online at MyersFamilyInf.com or find us on Facebook. My guy keeps it 100, 100% 100 of the time. He wants all 100, won't settle for 99. And it's more than stats because there's people in those numbers. And I was one of the lost sheep. I'm so glad he cares for all 100. I'm 100% safe, 100% free, 100% love. I could be 100% me. He gave all 100 when they put him up on that tree. That's 100% passion for 100% free. So if I play in front of 100, or if I play in front of two, there's an audience of one getting 100% of what I can do. You're looking to your future, preparing for your goals, and they're closer than you think. Because here, success is part of the plan. It's a place where academic and social opportunities are meant to prepare you for life, not just the next four years. You'll be equipped to face new challenges and turn hard work into a career. You're ready for your success to take root. And here's where it starts. We are Youngstown State University and proud. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, Mill Creek Metro Parks is your park for all seasons. Make a memory in the park. Plan your visit today at millcreekmetroparks.org. 
When looking for home design inspiration, don't just be inspired, be Baird inspired. Whether new or remodeling, Baird Brothers has the latest trends like shiplap to refresh your home. Go from inspiration to installation with our wide selection of in-stock American hardwoods. From the rustic charm of antique oak to the warmth of traditional cherry, Baird Brothers has what you need to make your home inspiring. Baird Brothers, our family's heritage, your family's home. Why choose local? Because you live here, work here, learn here, relax here, and celebrate here. 21 WFMJ is our family's only locally owned TV station, and our focus is local. Other TV stations don't have that same focus, as their owners are somewhere else. But 21 WFMJ is rooted in the valley. Local people making decisions that affect your life, right here where you live. Now you can see every school, to the smallest school, to the intermediate schools, to the schools in the outlying areas. It gives you coverage that you could just never get to before. It's something that's great to experience, and it's opened up a whole new wave of sports viewership. The possibilities are endless here at YSN. Push the envelope every day. Try something new. If it works, great. If it doesn't, well, let's try another angle, and we just keep moving forward. My name is Mike Ackleson. And my sports network is your sports network. Reliability. Innovation. Scale. These three values are those we look forward to in our business and in our team. If you're ready for a reliable employer who looks constantly to think outside the box in big ways, we're ready for you. Apply now. Help us push the envelope and deliver success. Envelope one, take that one extra step. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash Trumbull. How lucky are we to have not one, but two 18-hole Donald Ross Championship Golf Courses right here in our backyards. Mill Creek Golf Course was selected by Golf Week as one of America's 30 best municipal courses, continuing to challenge golfers of all levels and featuring golf instruction by PGA professionals, a state-of-the-art practice range, a PGA of America recognized pro shop, kids programs, and a relaxing grill room for a memorable golf experience. For more information or to schedule a tee time, visit millcreekmetroparks.org. At Greenwood Chevrolet, we offer a worry-free experience for all our customers. When your vehicle needs service, our award-winning team will get you back on the road. No worries. That's what going the extra mile means. Only at Greenwood Chevrolet. You're not waiting to see what the world has in store for you. It's more about what you have in store for the world. All you need is the opportunity. All you need are the resources of a large university and the advantages of a personalized academic setting where you can experience new worlds in the arts and sciences, business and education, and make them your own. We are where you shape your future. We are Youngstown State University and proud. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists, located on South Avenue in Boardman. Before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day has ended, or it's time to have fun. It all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. Hi, I'm Colin Chupa. And I'm Kelsey Clem from K-Squared Marketing. Our boutique marketing firm specializes in media planning and buying, public relations, event marketing strategies, and strategic sponsorships. We can integrate our services with your existing game plan, or we can be your entire marketing team. Your goals, our game plan. Let's, Let's win, win together. together. Call K-Squared Marketing at 330-623-5500. 
1-800-242-2730 or visit ksquared.marketing to learn more. Now is the time to think about your future, where you want to go, what you want to be. Your future can start now at Kent State Salem or Kent State East Liverpool. We have programs that will open doors and provide opportunities for you to pursue your passion. We are affordable. We are close. You call it hometown. We call it Kent State University. Learn more at www.kent.edu backslash Columbiana. You belong here. Hi, this is Tommy Clem, owner of WRS Insurance Solutions. WRS Insurance Solutions is a local independent agency that specializes in life, Medicare, long-term care, and disability products. Call us at 330-953-3722 or visit us at wrsinsurancesolutions.com to learn more. Good luck to all the student athletes in the Valley. Jimmy Sudman here, director of Isle, Purple Cat, and Golden String. We are happy to support YSN and two of my favorite people, Scotty Mincher and Super Dave O'Malley. We are an agency that provides services for adults with disabilities. We infuse humor, passion, and joy into their lives. If you know of any folks with disabilities that need our assistance, please contact us. It means the world to me to know that what we're doing is impacting people. And whether it's simply, I got to watch my son or daughter when I was out of town, or we just love watching YSN, we love what you do for our son or daughter. So whenever someone says thank you or someone uh, is appreciative of what we're doing, it tells me everyone at YSN is doing what we initially set out to do, which is shine a light on these athletes and help them kind of uh, promote themselves. My name is Anthony Hartwig, and my sports network is your sports network. Want you. 21 News delivers the news as it happens, using the latest technology from where it happens. Live here outside the Mahoney County. On air, online. The Wednesday afternoon weather update. Very dangerous. And on the 21 News social media platforms. I'm on the road right now. 21 News, Young the Valley's Saturday only Saturday. locally owned source for trusted news since 1953. At Greenwood Chevrolet, we offer a worry-free experience for all our customers. From sales to financing and even service, we'll help build your perfect vehicle. And lock in your trade value while your vehicle is being built. No worries. We guarantee financing. Regardless of your situation or credit history, 
No worries. And when your vehicle needs service, our award-winning team will get you back on the road. No worries. That's what going the extra mile means. Only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Quality, customer service, and integrity. Those are the four words that have driven our success since 1957 at Joe Dickey Electric. Joe Dickey Electric is one Mahoning Valley landmark business that stays current with the requirements of our customers. Family owned and managed, we are an electrical contractor and energy solutions provider. Every member of our team adds to his or her skill set through ongoing training. Residential, commercial, industrial, automotive, and more. We keep ahead of the needs of our customers with a fleet of more than 50 vehicles and 24-7 emergency service, so you're never left in the dark. Hi, this is Zell Bush. Hi, this is Tom Flynn. Hi, this is Steve Rossetto. Hi, this is Ryan Miller. Hi, this is Rich Satui from WRS Wealth Advisors. With our combined 80 years of experience, WRS Wealth Advisors are the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Call 330-965-0370 to learn more about our individual and corporate financial planning services. Or visit wrswealth.com. Go Raiders. Go Dawgs. Go Cats. Go Dogs. Go Tigers. change. This one word can make you break out in a cold sweat. But with change comes wisdom, experience, and understanding. At Myers Family Insurance, we can help make changes in Medicare, insurance, and retirement a positive experience for you and your family. We've gone through changes, like our new office and new faces to help our family of clients too. For all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. Check us out online at MyersFamilyInf.com or find us on Facebook. My guy keeps it 100, 100% 100 of the time. He wants all 100, won't settle for 99. And it's more than stats because there's people in those numbers. And I was one of the lost sheep. I'm so glad he cares for all 100. I'm 100% safe, 100% free, 100% love. I could be 100% me. He gave all 100 when they put him up on that tree. That's 100% passion for 100% free. So if I play in front of 100, or if I play in front of two, there's an audience of one getting 100% of what I can do. You're looking to your future, preparing for your goals, and they're closer than you think. Because here, success is part of the plan. It's a place where academic and social opportunities are meant to prepare you for life, not just the next four years. You'll be equipped to face new challenges and turn hard work into a career. You're ready for your success to take root. And here's where it starts. We are Youngstown State University and proud. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, Mill Creek Metro Parks is your park for all seasons. Make a memory in the park. Plan your visit today at millcreekmetroparks.org. When looking for home design inspiration, don't just be inspired, be Baird inspired. Whether new or remodeling, Baird Brothers has the latest trends like shiplap to refresh your home. Go from inspiration to installation with our wide selection of in-stock American hardwoods. From the rustic charm of antique oak to the warmth of traditional cherry, Baird Brothers has what you need to make your home inspiring. Baird Brothers, our family's heritage, your family's home. Why choose local? Because you live here, work here, learn here, relax here, and celebrate here. 21 WFMJ is our Valley's only locally owned TV station, and our focus is local. Other TV stations don't have that same focus, as their owners are somewhere else. But 21 WFMJ is rooted in the Valley. Local people making decisions that affect your life, right here where you live. Now you can see every school, to the smallest school, to the intermediate schools, to the schools in the outlying areas. It gives you coverage that you could just never get to before. It's something that's great to experience, and it's opened up a whole new wave of sports viewership. 
the possibilities are endless here at YSN. Push the envelope every day. Try something new. If it works, great. If it doesn't, well, let's try another angle and we just keep moving forward. My name is Mike Ackleson and my sports network is your sports network. Reliability. Innovation. Scale. These three values are those we look forward to in our business and in our team. If you're ready for a reliable employer who looks constantly to think outside the box in big ways, we're ready for you. Apply now. Help us push the envelope and deliver success. Envelope one. Take that one extra step. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash Trumbull. How lucky are we to have not one, but two 18-hole Donald Ross Championship golf courses right here in our backyards. Mill Creek Golf Course was selected by Golf Week as one of America's 30 best municipal courses, continuing to challenge golfers of all levels and featuring golf instruction by PGA professionals, a state-of-the-art practice range, a PGA of America-recognized pro shop, kids programs, and a relaxing grill room for a memorable golf experience. For more information or to... Welcome back here to Youngstown State University. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call here for a matchup that had a lot of hype coming into it. Austin Town Fitch against the Youngstown Nurse and Fighting Irish. But Steve, it's been all Fitch here in the first half, 28 to zero. They lead as we're about ready to begin our third quarter play. Yeah, big play opportunities, big time plays, a scoop and a score, stop on a goal line, 96 yard drive, a couple turnovers, some penalties. Uh, again, Urson has moved the football. There's no doubt about that, but have not been able to convert against a good Fitch defense. And Fitch has played a great first half. They really did. They ran the ball in their pass game, I thought, was one of the keys of the first half. Two first half touchdowns for DJ Williams, one on a defensive play, one on an offensive run. Two touchdowns from Deshaun Vaughn to Jaden Ely. And those are all your points. Up to this point, Austin Town Fitch student section has been loud and proud from the get-go here tonight. A lot of media in town here tonight. Yeah, this is a, a big place. Hype. A lot of games, a lot of good games in the area. But this was the one that kind of got the headlines. And Austin Town Fitch came very prepared to play football tonight. There's no doubt about it. We talked about it pregame for Ursuline. Stay away from the big plays, stay yeah. away from the turnovers. In the first drive, they were excellent. They are converting some third downs. And even when they got down 7 nothing, they, they did a nice job of of pitching away at it, chipping away at an unfortunate scoop score for a fumble. And then from there, it just kind of got away from them and went downhill. Now you got to lean on your experience of, of your senior group, of, of your coaching staff, and play it one play at a time here in the second half and try to get better and get yourself into a little flow of this football game. You go back to this matchup last year between these two teams. That was a heartbreaking loss for Fitch. So that's some oh, added motivation for them no coming into this one. No question. And they have they've played – with a chip on their shoulder so far here tonight. Brian Robinson already standing out at midfield. He's ready to begin the second half. It'll be Fitch Ball coming out of the break. If you're Ursuline, of course, you need a stop. The Irish have outgained Fitch, though, in the yardage, 218 to 205 so far. Yeah, that's the crazy thing of football. They get all those rushing highlights and, uh, you know, rushing yardage, but, but haven't been able to make the big play. But the big thing to look at, like we've said, three turnovers for Ursuline, zero for Fitch. Falcons have capitalized. They've gotten the ball in the open field. They've gotten the ball to their backs, Jamel James and DJ Williams. They've let them work. But like we said first, and Kristen Lynch has done a good job in the first half setting up the Irish with great field position. But another thing to look at, Deshaun Vaughn, 7 for 8 for 85 yards here in the first half. Jack Erickson, 7 for 14 for 112. Yeah, they've done a nice job run and pass, and that's been the difference in the game. A couple interceptions for the Irish, and then Fitch pass game has hit a couple touchdowns. It'll be McGlone to kick it deep for the Irish. It'll be Ely 
deep to return for Fitch. And Christian Lynch, 12 for 85 yards, so he's had some nice runs, just hasn't been able to hit the big one. They made a nice couple saving tackles. James McGlone, experienced kicker for this Ursland team. We haven't really been able to say his name as much That's as we hoped to. That's the first time he comes out and kicks, yeah, as they received in the first half. It doesn't happen often. I mean, I think back to last year, the St. V's game was another one that did not go the no, way of Ursland. That was a, one of the games that we're seeing here tonight. So when you play a schedule like that, it can happen on any night. McGlone will boot it deep. Ely will have to make his way over to his right to field it. He'll let that one roll into the end zone for a touchback. So back underway here with some football, second half football. Austin Town Fitch with the ball already up 28-0. Could really deliver a knockout blow with a big drive here to begin the quarter. Deshaun Vaughn, junior quarterback, will head out. Like we were mentioning some in that first half, this Fitch team, we've mentioned about Urson a lot. A lot of young guys, Jack Erickson, Christian Lynch are both juniors. For Fitch, Deshaun Vaughn's a junior. DJ Williams is a junior. Dan Evans, Dom Perry. This is, this is a scary football team. Yeah, Brian Robinson's a junior. Yeah. Got some big-time players. Xavier Dawn, be for next I believe. Year. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be basically these two teams yet again next year. First play keeper for Vaughn. Finds yeah. the right edge. Yeah, he's done a nice job on that quarterback keep. That time, read the defensive end crash, kept the play, and got another first down run. One of those teams that will not take their foot off the gas, for sure. They're going to keep playing and keep running their offense, and Ursa going to have to step up and get some stops. First play, first down for Fitch. That'll move the chains. They've done that a lot here tonight. Hand off to Jamel James. He'll be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, nice play there by Michael Branch. And that's going to be crucial tonight for Ursland, if they want to kind of will their way back into this game, I think, especially on first down, you got to put Fitch yeah, behind the marker. Selling out, put him behind the sticks. Good call. Isaac Lucas also on the play. Second and 10. 11.22 to go here in our third quarter. Deshaun Vaughn in the gun, joined by Jamel James. It'll be a handoff to James. He played that one pretty well, too. So pretty, two pretty good run plays on defense. And, of course, up by this yeah. many points here in the third quarter, any head coach, yeah. of course, you want to just yeah. attack the run game, yeah, and this is your perfect. Clock. Yeah, Frank is, Frangos and Lucas on the tackle. But, yeah, for Fitch, you, you don't mind clock running with a four-touchdown lead. And it also helps out having backs like Jamel James yeah, and DJ Williams can, so you can, can trust getting the yardage. Time, no doubt. Third and five for Fitch on the Ursland 34-yard line. Trips to the bottom of the screen. James joining Vaughn in the backfield. It'll be a handoff. He has some space. And good tackle. Nice tackle. That saved a first down yes, right there. Did. James comes up a little slow. The Actually, his, his spike punt. came off. It's yep. bleeding. So the punt nice squad will come the out. Irish defense going to get it back, so that's a start. And that's what we talk about, Anthony. want to go one possession at a time, try to sneak back into this football game. Jaquiz Liaison with the tackle. So Ruggles will come out to punt. It'll be Bernie deep to return. Their special teams it was fantastic in the first half. A couple good punts, and, and, and the, the kick game's been solid. We talked about getting a stop and a score early on for Ursuline. You got the stop two minutes and into the half. now you need half. the score. Now you need the score. Anthony Ruggles, the punter. We'll have a flag thrown. Delay of game. Yep. Yep, delay of game. So that'll push Fitch back a little bit more. That could give Ursuline some better field position here. But we saw Ruggles, that one punt in the first half, sky high, end over end. That's, that's what you want to see. Some score updates, Hubbard 21, Poland 21, South Range 16, Struthers 13. Ursuline now sending D.C. Farrell back to return as well. Yeah, you want to try to get him involved too for sure. Oh, yeah. Ruggles will hit that one off the toe. And that's going to take a nice yeah, pitch bounce. A nice big bounce for sure. Bad punt, but great action for the Falcons. Sometimes when you're in front, you're going to get some rolls like that. 9.32 now to go here in our third quarter. 
This Ursuline offense will come out for their first possession of the second half. And you look at the score, if you're just now tuning in, you may think that Ursuline just hasn't been getting anything going. They've been moving the ball very well. Yeah, we talked they, about it know, when we came back. He's leading in yardage at halftime, so that's sometimes what stats do in football games. But, yeah, just haven't been able to convert the big ones. Now you get a, 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 a punt chance and you get a chance to get the first score in the second half. And you also got to give credit to Fitch. Their two interceptions came with very long returns, so that could be another reason why. Yeah, just nothing doing there. Tried a little jet sweep to D.C. Farrell, and they were all over that. They've been all over the perimeter plays. Urson's tried a couple screens, haven't been able to get to, and tried D.C. on a little reverse there, and the Falcons were ready for it. Xavier Don. Yeah, he's had himself a big football game. And, and you know uh, Fitch was prepared for Farrell. He's the, the game breaker with Bernie and, and Manning, and they've done a good job. Bernie's the only one that's really had a pretty solid football game. Spread look here for the Irish. Jack Erickson will drop back. Scanning, looking for Bernie across yeah. the middle. Can't come up yeah. with it. Or did he? You yeah, got he it. Caught that. He did yeah, catch nice it. Nice play there. Nice Cam Smith with a big Bernie. hit. Yeah, Will, Cam Smith sitting back there waiting. Nice job by Will. Good catch. Tough angle from where we are. A long ways away. Yeah, we're a little distance from that one. The ball's away from us, but <laughs> nice pitch and catch. So third and short. Yep. Third down and one for Ursland. Trips bunched up to the bottom. Erickson and Lynch in the backfield. You know, That'll be a free first, first down. So free first down. So penalty on the Falcons here. A little slow start for Austin Town Fitch. We'll see what Urson can do. 8.28 to go in the third quarter. Of course, you, this Urson offense loves to move quick. You don't want to force another error, though. This Fitch defense has been all over it tonight. First down and 10 for Ursland. 8.20 to go in our third quarter. Ball on the 34. It's going to be yeah, a keeper for nice. Erickson. Has this, some space. Hit hard. But yeah. that's enough for a first nice down. Nice keep. Read the defensive end crash. Good keep by Jack. Pretty solid gain. Another first down. Irish on the move again. So Ursland starting to stack together some big plays here yet again. Offense kind of picking up where they left off in that first half. They just have to find Pater. Trips to the bottom. One man all alone to the top. Hand off to Christian Lynch. He'll lower Boy, he runs the hard. shoulder. He really does. Brian Robinson on the tackle, but Christian runs very hard. That's a it's nice a gain on first yards. down. Yeah, it is a nice gain on first down. So Something that Erson really struggled with in that first half was getting stuck behind the markers, behind the sticks. Just got to keep moving yeah, forward. Got to keep that forward lean going. The penalties were also big. We talked about that. Jack Erickson will drop back. He'll throw it to Will Bernie. They got this He'll set come up. back. Great setup by the Irish. Bernie across the 40. He'll lunge forward to the 35. Yep. Got the seat screen set up that time. Got the big boys out in front. Isaac, Lugers, and Trasco, and the boys all out in front. Colton Ross, nice job. Another first down for the Irish. Another first down, like you said. Seven minutes, 15 seconds to go here in the third quarter. We've seen Ursland go to Bernie on that play a couple times here tonight. That's definitely the best outcome so far. Handoff here to Lynch. Going up the middle. Yeah, Cam Smith's made a lot of individual tackles. Another nice run by Christian. Good job by the left side. Frasco and Lugers lead the way there. So another first down chunk for the Irish. Smith going to Iowa State for a reason. Yeah, there's no doubt he comes up and finishes plays from the back end. But you have to be impressed by how you go in and regroup at half, and Urson gets the start that they do. I mean, these guys have known that they can score with anyone, but it, it all comes down to defense. Hand off here to Lynch yeah, on the near able side. To get the edge there and runs out of bounds. So That's nice job by Christian. Another first down. Yep, another first down for Ursland. Christian Lynch. Coming off Jay a game Sean against Bennett. Farrell yep. where he had 44 carries. Jay Sean Bennett on the tackle for the Falcons. Pushed him out of bounds. First down and 10, Ursland from the Fitch 22-yard line. 6.27 to go in the third quarter. Anthony Romo, Steve yeah, Leslie. Chandler Waller also pushed him out, so another first down opportunity. And we're going to have a false start there, and those are the ones that hurt you. Stacking together so many positive plays, and then you have something like that. It'll set up first and 15 now. It's 
That'll move him back a little bit. Jack Erickson gets the play call from head coach Dan Reardon. Reardon and Fitch's head coach TJ Parker have put together some very well programs here in the Falcons and the Irish. Yeah, that, you get behind the change. You've talked about that. So first and long, now you want to start get a chunk at his back. Erickson, play action, gets drilled. Yeah, he got hit. They're going to call a penalty there. A late hit on 42 for the Falcons for sure. Oh, probably be DJ Williams. DJ Williams. Yeah. Came at the head maybe. And that was a brutal yeah, that was a hit. Vicious hit right there that Jack Erickson took. And I mean, it's been that problem all night for Erickson in the yeah. passing game. Erickson just hasn't, just hasn't had, had, any had time. quite enough time. We'll watch the replay. Oh, yeah, was hit up high for sure. Luckily for Ursulin, I mean, even with the penalty, luckily that was not another interception because that one was thrown deep into coverage. But Ursulin will get some yardage back there, of course. I believe that's an automatic first yeah, down, Yeah, first correct? down, so yep. first and automatic ten. At, first down. What do we have, about the 14 here? So on the move again, you get the automatic first down. Three guys stacked up to the top. So one got man the three all by one the there. They haven't been able to execute against it. There it is there. Try to play two on one. There's D.C. Farrell, and there's they're the first the, touchdown, but they're going to call it back. Mark Manning and Jaden Ely. Right yeah. there on the edge. This one yeah. looks like it will come it's back. The second one into that corner of the end zone. So Ursland. Forces a Fitch penalty. And then the next play, they have one of their own. Yep, holding on the offense, number nine. So that'll set Ursuline back. Yeah, that's two touchdowns off the board. 6-16 to go in our third, third quarter play. Yeah, that's, that's holding. Yeah. That's the, no doubt, it's a good call. I mean, <laughs> you hate to say that, but you can't hold. Yeah, you got two on, two blockers on one. Three guys stacked up to the bottom now. Erickson going to drop back, There's picked off. Yep. Threw it right to Cam Smith. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. The Iowa State commit takes it into the end zone. And this Fitch lead will expand. Yeah, and we'll get the running clock now. So t touchdown off the board, and Cam Smith takes one to the house. Wow. Another that drive impressive? for Ursuline yeah. that they Another have drive that you get a ton of yards. Brought it all the way down the field, but no points to show for it. Cam Smith going to the Big 12 for a reason. Yeah, there's no question there. Showed his burst, too. Broke Erickson's tackle at about the five-yard line for the touchdown. So we'll get to that running clock, which we thought we would never see. Especially with these two teams on the field. Josiah Bernai back on the field for the extra point attempt. It's just the big, it's been the big bodies for Fitch. Yeah. I mean, big bodies have, wear on you, uh, you know, athleticism and mistakes. Two scoop, a pick and a score, a scoop and a score. Um, you know, just a rough night when you've moved the football and you've had two touchdowns taken away. Snap good, hold good. Burnai continues to be perfect with the extra point attempts. That'll make it 35-0, Fitch. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're from YSU. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, Mill Creek Metro Parks is your park for all seasons. Make a memory in the park. Plan your visit today at millcreekmetroparks.org. Quality? customer service and integrity. 
Those are the four words that have driven our success since 1957 at Joe Dickey Electric. Joe Dickey Electric is one Mahoning Valley landmark business that stays current with the requirements of our customers. Family owned and managed, we are an electrical contractor and energy solutions provider. Every member of our team adds to his or her skill set through ongoing training. Residential, commercial, industrial, automotive, and more. We keep ahead of the needs of our customers with a fleet of more than 50 vehicles and 24-7 emergency service, so you're never left in the dark. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Located on South Avenue in Boardman. Six minutes to go here in our third quarter of play from YSU. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call. Didn't think I'd say these words tonight, running clock in effect. Yeah, running clock in effect, another big play, and it's been the, the big ones that have hurt. Two defensive touchdowns. End of the third, Hubbard 21, Poland 21. Got ourselves a good one going there. Can't fill it up 35 nothing. Trying to get a couple scores as we get the penalty on Austin Tom Fitch, and they're excited. I mean, yeah, can't it was a penalty. Him. You can't blame them for being excited. But again, two touchdowns called back. And those are big. Those are very big. And those are, those are things you learn from right there. If you're Ursuline. Cam Smith. Pick six. One of many athletes on the field for Austin Town Fitch. They'll take their penalty and Josiah Bernheim will boot it deep. A lot of good games around the Valley, though, Steve. You were saying some yeah. of the scores. A lot of good ones. Springfield on top of Lowville. Yeah. That's a game that everybody a lot expected of were, Lowville to put up a ton of points. And that Springfield team, they faced some tough competition to open up the year. Losing a guy like Bo Brungard. No out. Trying to find their ground and play three tough teams. Here's the squib. Squib kick. Be fielded by Haas Mihalis. Oh. Taken down at just past the 35. Yeah, so the Irish had it moving again. and Actually, that was Baylog on the return. Yeah, had it moving again, and unfortunately, the, the pick six. 5.55 to go here in our third quarter. Beginning of a very exciting weekend here at YSU. Penguins hosting the Dayton Flyers tomorrow. Not sure why the clock isn't running. Maybe it begins on the first snap. Oh, yeah, there they'll we go. run it now. One's still on the field for both squads. Pass out to D.C. Farrell. Yeah, and those are the only ones they've been able to give them to when they're playing soft coverage. They've done a good job on him tonight. And have moved the ball in between the 30s all game, but unfortunately have not been able to hit the pay dirt. Erson going to move quick. Jack Erickson dropping back. He's going to unload. Has his man. D.C. Farrell with the catch. Stays on his feet, and he'll get into the end zone. He's that dynamic. <laughs> Run a little go route. He ran right past the Falcon defender. Pretty simple score for the Erson Irish. So Ursuline will get on the board. That will eliminate the running clock very quickly. So 5.24 to go here in our third quarter. Ursuline with the quick answer. Still down four scores, but you're definitely just looking for any yeah, positives, and they get one right a positive there. there. Pretty good pass. Jack's had a couple tough plays. He bounces back there and hits it, puts it right in the stride to D.C. for the touchdown. So nice job, good answer by the Irish. I'll bring the kick unit out. James McGlone with the extra yeah, point. Nice kick there, so Irish on the board. 35 to seven. Now our score, 524 to go in our third quarter. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back here from Stambaugh Stadium. 
planning a project around your home or rental property? Trust the electrical service to the local experts with 62 years of serving the Mahoning Valley. Joe Dickey Electric is your local go-to source for responsive, reliable residential electrical work. From everyday maintenance and repairs to new installations, electrical upgrades, and safety inspections, no job is too big or too small. Call Joe Dickey Electric today, 800-549-3976, or visit DickeyElectric.com. That's DickeyElectric.com. How lucky are we to have not one, but two 18-hole Donald Ross Championship Golf Courses right here in our backyards. Mill Creek Golf Course was selected by Golf Week as one of America's 30 best municipal courses, continuing to challenge golfers of all levels and featuring golf instruction by PGA professionals, a state-of-the-art practice range, a PGA of America recognized pro shop, kids programs, and a relaxing grill room for a memorable golf experience. For more information or to schedule a tee time, visit millcreekmetroparks.org. Welcome back here to Stambaugh Stadium. Ursland gets the quick answer, he eliminates the running clock, 35 to seven our score. Yeah, that's the first thing you wanna eliminate. That's a good call, Anthony, you wanna eliminate running clocks to slow the game down a little bit. Great throw by Jack Erickson to DC Farrell right on stride. Nice to see the Irish get on, on the board. James McGlone will boot it deep. We field it inside the 20 by Ely. He's taken down. At about the 18-yard line, so it'll be a long ways to go here for Fitch, but they have no problem with that. Want to take some more time off the clock. You're already up by 28. Yeah. Want to solidify a victory here away from home. Yeah, you want to get one on the road, and but a nice job by D.C. Two catches on that drive and the one over the top. Jack put that ball right on the money, and that shows you what D.C. Farrell can do with the ball in his hands. Only a sophomore. Yeah. Some scary underclassmen right now. Some be updates. here tomorrow. We will be here tomorrow. YSU action. South Range now on top, 23 to 13 against Struthers. Starting to pull away there. Deshaun Vaughn in the backfield. Will be a handoff here to DJ Williams. He'll get it across the 20. Nice tackle there by Lorenzo Rohrbach, the linebacker. Did a nice job there. Played better against the run here in the second half. Just a big touchdown pick. The momentum changes against this Ursland team tonight have been big time momentum oh, yeah. swings. Williams will check out. Jamel James will check in. Three guys bunched to the bottom. Vaughn is going to have to keep him it himself. Again. Taken down by Tyreek Donlow yeah. in the backfield. Nice job by Tyreek. Good play there. Nice job by the secondary for Ursland. Yeah, sniffing out and Vaughn slow to get to up. Down a little slow to get up. So the Irish playing a little better here in the third quarter. Of course, like we said earlier in a game like this, you don't want to see anyone get hurt for either team. Hopefully just a cramp. Tyreek Donlow, very heavy hit. Yeah, he laid the lumber there. Big time hit. I'm sure that was a fr there's a little bit of frustration in that one. Hopefully just a cramp for Vaughn. 439 to go here. In our third quarter, Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call here from Youngstown State University. Austin Town Fitch has been mighty impressive. They're impressive. <laughs> There's no question. This is one of the. I mean, yeah. I gotta say, one of the teams that beat in Division Two. I, I, ha I have to agree with you. I, I uh, even though we don't see a lot of teams in D2, but they are a good, good football team that can beat you in a lot of ways. And their size and their manhood is what yeah. sticks out to me. It's it's impressive. 
Masson on top of Harding, 34 to six. Lakeview on top of Niles, 21 to six. Yeah, Lowville just went up 23-16 over Springfield, so they get the lead back. Let's take a second talk about that Lakeview team. 0 and 10 a year ago. I think looking for their third win of the year yeah, here that's tonight. An impressive start for them. Brookfield up 40 to six. So that's a team we saw a couple weeks ago that continues to get better. Canton Central Catholics beating Salem 28-24. A little bit of a surprise there. Cheney struggling with Marlington 15-10 at the end of three quarters. We were talking about yesterday. That's that's a team of that's tradition the in Marlington. Team tradition. They, they're going to come over and play. And first game at, on turf at Rain for yeah. Cheney. And they, got, they had a tough one last and you week. Yeah, Canfield too sitting Moody. there and Ursuline after that. So Cowboys maybe looking ahead a little bit. And if they are. Boy, does the road get tough. Oh, wow. <laughs> we can't fill the nurse in the next two weeks. But then you got to think, though, if I you're think Cheney. Randy Smith goes to like a pistol quarterback. So this will probably be a run. So Urson got a chance to get the ball back here. Third down and long. Smith will roll out. just too open. There's we'll nobody there. Dan Evans with the catch and the first down. The soft coverage is... Just a simple catch for the backup quarterback. Played zone and nobody rolled up over the top of it. Nobody out on the edge. That'll move the sticks. Deshaun Vaughn walking on the sideline, so it's good that he's up under his own power. Cam Smith in at quarterback. Smith committed to the University of Iowa State. Jamel James will join him in the backfield. Yeah, that's a big time coverage mistake there by the Irish could have got off the field three guys stacked to the top we'll have a flag thrown false start on Fitch so that'll move him back but that was a big third down there for Ursland oh, it was backup a quarterback backup coming into quarterback, the game probably thought they were going to run the ball and Ursland lost coverage and give up an easy first down but this shows something for Fitch too you have a guy in Smith who returned to pick six. Oh, he's athletic back there. He'll, he won't hurt you. He can throw the ball, too. Cam Smith will hand it off to Jamel James. Oh, there's the big back. He'll get it past the original line of scrimmage. It'll set up second down and seven. Tyreek Dunlow on the tackle, but gets a nice chunk of that back. Almost nine yards of it back. Couple minutes past the nine o'clock hour, long night. Yeah, the Irish play some Sandball long Stadium. games here for sure. When you pass the ball, <laughs> and, and. under four minutes to go now in the third quarter. Of course, Fitch letting this clock run. Oh yeah, they're they're content to play offense and keep that clock moving. Gonna be, I think, timeout. Fitch, timeout will be called by Austin Town. Fitch, three forty-one to go. Here in our third quarter. We'll take this time, give you some more score updates from around the valley. Beaver Local, final over East Liverpool, 58 to zero. As we mentioned, Canfield, 42 to zero victory over St. Thomas out of Canada earlier tonight. Waterloo over Sebring, 47 to eight. Boardman on top of Howland, 27 to 13. That one's in the fourth quarter. Minnow Ridge over McDonald, 40-0. to zero. Minnow Ridge moves to 4-0 on yeah, you the year. you got to start talking about them. There's, There's a couple team. teams that are Minnow Ridge, Jackson, Milton. Right, Jackson, Milton was losing tonight last time yeah. I looked there. So, But as we were saying with Cheney, if you look forward to those two weeks against Canfield and mm -hmm. Ursland coming up, if Cheney comes out with those two games, they could be sitting atop D3 Region 9. Yeah, no doubt. Those are some huge region points, games. Yep. Back out. Second down and seven. Cam Smith will hand it off to Jamel James. James will be taken down by Frangos. Yeah, be third and short. That's territory that Fitch Lowville loves to be in. Lowville 29. Springfield 24. 15, 24. Over. Yeah. That's a very good game there. I believe that one's at, yeah, it's at Springfield tonight. So 29-24, Lowville, so that one's a close one. Third down and yeah, two. These are the ones that you have a hard time stopping, a big back in the backfield, two big backs two in big the backs. backs. Yeah. It'll be James that'll take the snap. Yeah, you need someone to crash and, and get into the backfield and slow up. 
Keeper for James, no, he has a hole. A Just fall on Brian Robinson. There goes Jamel James, they're not gonna catch him. Fitch with the answer, and they'll extend the lead. Yeah, just up the middle. Great blocking by the O-line. You got to tout the Fitch O-line a little bit, too. Another big hitter, big plays. You've called them, brother. Another huge one for the Falcons. And it doesn't get much better than following a guy like Brian Robinson no, right down the middle. Brian Robinson down the middle and the two backs in the backfield. and Just a little lead zone play blocked well. And another big one for the Falcons. Fitch brought the energy tonight. There's no doubt. You'd have to talk about their energy. They've been like this from the start. Got off those big plays and big big opportunities and have never taken the foot off the gas. Burn eye on for the extra point attempt. Hold by DeFloria. Kick is up. And the kick is good. Coming into tonight, Ursland scored 52, 51, and 40. They're held to seven right now. Running clock will be back in effect. But before that, we'll take a quick break. 2.46 to go in our third quarter here on YSN. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, Mill Creek Metro Parks is your park for all seasons. Make a memory in the park. Plan your visit today at millcreekmetroparks.org. The environment in the hospital can be very intense for a patient. Being able to put a smile on their face brightens up my day. I'm at Youngstown State University and my passion is nursing. What I love about studying nursing is that it takes you out of the classroom and into the lab. It's really hands-on. The professors here push you to be your absolute best, so if you want it, you gotta work hard for it. I am so excited about my 2.46 to go in our third quarter of play. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie live here from Stambaugh Stadium. Austin Town Fitch has come into enemy yeah. territory, and they've left their mark. Well, they hit you with the big plays. And the quarterback goes down, Cam comes in third and long, convert, and then, you know, the big run. And that's what is impressive for me. They have a lot of skill guys that, that they can get the ball to in a Division II football team that, that can do damage as the state goes along. Josiah Burnai. Has it teed up. Yeah, the clock is running now, so tough sledding here for the Irish. The pitch loves it. Their student section is uh, loud. Their student loud. section is loud and proud right now. Why not? Yeah, it's a rivalry, that's for sure. Two of the best teams in the Mahoning Valley. Bernayo kicked that one. It's a great kick. Into the, oh, oh out of bounds. just out of bounds at the one. In. So that'll give Ursuline some good field position as they a look to on eliminate. Ursuline too, another going to be a personal foul against the Ursuline Irish and just a silly silly penalty they hit after the play and that's a frustration penalty yeah. right there and those are the ones that you know referees aren't going to go by especially young with the young game. man's helmet comes Close. off and I, I don't you know now you're backed up half the distance and the penalties tonight have been hurtful to be kind, you know, two touchdowns called back, um, yeah, some long distance and long chains, and that's another thing that's kind of let this game get away. Couldn't have said it better myself. 2.21 to go in our third quarter, running clock. In effect. And that's the good thing, though, coming out of this, is that these teams are in separate divisions. Yeah. Because yeah. these are... These are These teams two in our area. I the said that they runs. play one another for long runs in D3 with Canfield and Chaney. That's loaded. Obviously, Fitch with Akron Hoban and that crew, but it's a talented football team. Erickson, throw it out to D.C. Farrell in the first play of the drive. He'll get it out across the 20. Yeah. And Ursland's really been going to Farrell here yeah. in the second half. Try to get him the ball here in the second half. He comes up hobbled a little bit there. A little nicked up on that play. Second down and seven. Jack Erickson going to drop back. He'll evade the rush from Robinson. Now scrambling towards the near side. A little jump pass out of bounds. <laughs> that was a little nifty. A yeah, little nifty, a little jump pass to get rid of it. Now will set up third down and seven. And the just surprising like that, one, Mark though. Manning hasn't had an opportunity. Nope. They've kind of taken he him had out that of the one, football game. Yeah. One screen, screen play, play that 
yeah. one through the hands. And that's been about it. Lots to learn from this week, though, yeah, first. Yeah, it's a great, you know. Erickson going to drop back. Looking across the middle, has Farrell. Behind him a little bit, or he got some distance to run with it. First down. First down, though, so the chains will move. But, yeah, if, if you keep that one up, Farrell could have yeah, made some plays some in space. Yeah, with the football. I mean, he's one of those guys that you just want to give him as much space as possible. Erickson going to drop back. Looking towards the near sideline. Catch was made. Yep. That was a nice catch by Tyron Davis. Yep. So he's thrown some good balls, there's no doubt. But the, but the turnovers have been costly. It was that pressure early yeah, on. Yeah, pressure early. They're playing a little more zone coverage here as the clock's running. And something that really makes you wonder, you go all the way back to that first possession for Ursuline. They had the touchdown called back. Here's Throw Mark out Aaron. to Mark Manning. They've done a nice job on these jet screen plays. That one will go for a loss of yardage. Looks like a loss of one, so it'll be about third down and four for Ursland. This will be last play of the third quarter right here. Hand off to Christian Lynch, going right up the middle. He has a lot of room, and Christian Lynch oh. taken down at the five-yard line. What a job running it down. Yeah, number two for the Falcons. Let's tip a cap to him. Pritchard. Pritchard ran down Christian wow. Lynch. That's a 70-yard touchdown run. <laughs> wow. And that'll take us to the end of the third quarter. First down and goal for Ursland when we come back. Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come to pregame with half-off select appetizers in our dining room starting at 5 p.m. Also want to stay for the game? We'll be playing it live. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash Trumbull. Your teams work hard and give it all they've got. Well, so does ours. Because 21 Sports and YSN give you extra effort when covering local sports. 21 Sports and YSN, winning coverage of our Valley's teams. It's storm season. I think we're under the gun for some heavy storms over the next couple of hours. And Storm Tracker 21 is ready. This is probably the one we're keeping a closer eye on. On air. And locally, we're going to have a lot of eyes on our area. Online. All right, let's talk high-risk future cast and the timing of this weather. On social media and on our app. Rain will come and go tomorrow. There'll be some dry intervals. Stay ready with Storm Tracker 21. The severe weather threat now through around sun. Hi, this is Zell Bush. Hi, this is Tom Flynn. Hi, this is Steve Rossetto. Hi, this is Ryan Miller. Hi, this is Rich Satui from WRS Wealth Advisors. With our combined 80 years of experience, WR. Start of the yeah, first quarter, Richard. first down and goal here yeah, for Ursula. How about that rundown? <laughs> wow. That was Young something. Man, that was something. That's a great hustle play in a 42 7 game, not giving up. That's effort. That's something that will be looked at in the No, no too. question. The Fitch staff, that will be a thing they highlight in this game. You're playing, still playing hard and with effort. Quarterback keeper for Erickson on. First and goal does a nice job letting the blocks assemble, and he is taken down inside the five. Brian Robinson on the tackle. Robinson, that'll be a real interesting decision. Yeah. He's high on a lot of radars. He has Georgia, Texas A&M. Notre, Notre Dame, Michigan, among others. Yeah, yeah. you could see why. Athletic, yeah. lanky. Only a junior. Handoff, or actually keeper for Erickson. He'll get into the end zone. So Jack Erickson gets his first touchdown yep. nice job. on Little the ground of the night. quarterback read. Everybody runs the Christian, tucks it up into the end zone. Touchdown, Irish. Back to the non-running clock. Back and forth we go. Yeah, back and forth we go. We 11.29 well to go here. Stay here for the evening and get ready for Penguin football tomorrow. Especially you. <laughs> Might as well stay the night, get an early start on your prep. 
McGlone now on for the extra point attempt. Erickson will be the holder. Good snap, good hold. Yep, right down the middle, nice job. Nice job by James McGlone. He's had a nice job, nice year. Kicking the field goals for the Irish, extra points and kicks have been good tonight. 42-14. 42-14, our score. 11.29 to go here in our ball game. You can take a look. Both student sections still out. Yeah, here they're tonight. still out in full force. It's good to see. You know, got to be there for both of these football teams. They're both talented. Nobody wants to lose for sure, but of course, it's part of the game, though. And it's got me thinking too. There are so many kids to choose from for Fitch for our player of the game. Wow. I mean, I was thinking early on, Jaden Ely, two touchdown receptions, but I mean, DJ Williams has made his presence felt. Cam Smith has been big. I mean, the list goes on. Jamel James as well, 11.29 to go here in our fourth quarter. Yeah, trying <laughs> to get a stop here. Yeah, I mean, the one for me, Cam Smith's made some big plays. And I, I go back to tackles from the secondary, from safety early. Uh, the pick six was a momentum swing. And I mean, that's th a The most that... impressive play for me is when he came in at quarterback on third down and, and threw a nice little completion to extend the touchdown drive there. So he kind of does it all. I mean, you could – there's a cast of them that are on the docket, but uh, – He's kind of stuck out to me in the way he's he made a big catch as a receiver. The quarterbacks played well. You can give it, they could probably give it to their whole football team right now the way they're playing. You interview every guy. McGlone with the short angled kick. Fair catch will be made by who else but Cam Smith yep. at the 40 yard line. That's where Fitch will start their drive. Trailing 42 to 14. Or leading 42, 42 to 14, 14, I should say. Yeah, you don't want the Fitch folks coming after Anthony no, Romo. No, of course on. not. Fitch will be now 2 and 0 in games that I've done for them yeah. this year. I might keep an eye on you there too, for <laughs> sure. But then coming back home next week for Fitch, hosting a team out of state from Buffalo, and then you face Mass and Washington. Road doesn't get any easier. No, it does not. Final 23. 13 South Range over Struthers. Deshaun Vaughn, nice sight back in the game for yeah, Fitch. Yeah, it's good to see him back. He's going to hand it off here on the first play. Flag gonna will be have, thrown. Going to have some holding on the edge. Hand off to Jay Allen Underwood. They're going to get Evans, I think, again on the hold. A lot of depth. Yeah, you're seeing the Fitch. depth in the Fitch backfield for sure. Underwood, Underwood a only a sophomore. sophomore. Pretty good explosion there on his first carry. Lowville on top, 35-24 now over Springfield, yeah, 6.15 to go. Taking advantage there. Springfield going to go to 0-4. Another handoff right here to Allenwood, or Allenwood, Underwood once again. 11 minutes to go here in our fourth quarter. Pitch, you're really going to see them start yeah. to attack yeah, the run, run game. Some clock. This is a chance for Urson to get possibly another three and out. They had the hold. Yeah. Made it first and 20. Was able to convert a long one and then the big touchdown run. So Fitch letting some clock run here, which you know Coach Parker wants to do. You don't want anybody getting hurt in a situation like this for sure. Already saw Vaughn cramping up here in the second half. Underwood will line up to the left of Vaughn. The handoff. Gets it across the 30. Yeah, Lucas and Dunlow again. Michael Branch also in there. Actually, that was Jamel James on the carry, so Jamel James back James, in right. the game. Michael Branch on the tackle. I mean, and that's the thing that wears teams out is it takes two, the three guys backs. to take yeah. them down every time. The wear time. and tear of them is 
pretty solid. Three guys to the bottom of the screen for Fitch. Third down and 16. James going out in motion. Vaughn going to fake the throw to him. And he's taken there. down Tyreek Donlow. Yep, nice sack by Tyreek. His second sack of the game. Got good pressure there. Beat the offensive lineman. Irish going to get it back. 9.28 to go, Steve. They keep playing. I think they've done some things in the second half here that a good coaching staff will go look at, get some things fixed, and... You know, sometimes you tip your cap and say you lost to a good football team, and that's what's taking place here. Will Bernie will be the deep man for Ursland. Anthony Ruggles will punt it away for Fitch. He had that one we didn't think was a great punt and got a nice kick off of it. Ruggles boots that one deep. Fielded by Bernie at his own 40. Pretty He'll get that one to midfield. We have a late penalty, a little extracurricular between Jamel James and one of the Irish. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Like That was James and Lynch. Lynch is 23, Yeah. right? Christian Lynch. Personal foul. Getting a little chippy here for, you don't want to see that happen for sure. No. You know, play after punts, skirmish. Coach T.J. Parker not happy at no, all. No, you don't, you're not him. happy with that at all. Look, he's going right he's after him, <laughs> following him. You, you don't want to see that stuff. Two good players like that. You don't want somebody getting hurt on a play. That Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just what happened happened. Yeah, it's not needed. So that'll set Urson up with some really good field yeah. position. 8.50 to go. Go for a quick strike. And DC Farrell coming in motion. It's going to be keeper for Erickson. He has some space. Jack Erickson across the 30. He'll take the business decision, head out of bounds yeah. at the 29-yard line. running the quarterback read option pretty well here in the second half. He has been. And how dangerous can that play be with Eric? Oh, as, as the coming year goes motion. on with DC in motion and and Will and Mark, I mean the Ersland has some offense. They'll they'll learn from this and get better, no question. It's just the big plays and the mistakes have hurt him tonight. There's Dunlow on a carry, he's big back runs <laughs> over. So I mean they have the offensive capabilities of another, another penalty. Play. That's Xavier Don and Robert Gilmore. Yeah, this is getting a little bit, a little bit ugly. I mean, it's been such a good game up to this point, too. You don't want things like this to overshadow the play that has happened, especially on the side of Fitch, because they've. Like we were saying a few minutes ago, they've had so many guys that yeah. have just no, excelled tonight. Unsportsmanlike against Ursuline. So that'll push the Irish back. That one hurts if you're Ursuline. You're building a little bit of momentum on offense. Yeah. Now you're getting pushed back. I mean, what was it, 28 nothing and half? Yeah. It's been an even second it's half. An even second half. So that'll push Ursland back to the 40-yard line. You got to get to the 24 for the first. So it'll be second and 16. Now for the Irish when we get this all settled. Lineman still talking for yeah. both sides. Xavier Don, of course, played for Ursland last year. He was one of the defensive standouts, and we've seen that transition to Fitch. Don, another guy that's only a junior, who's only going to get bigger and stronger. Jack Erickson in the gun. He'll drop back. A little miscommunication there between 
Erickson and Tyran Davis. That'll be third down and 16 now. Yeah, it's gotten a little ugly here. There'll be a different crew on the call next week as both Steve and I will be unavailable. Got, I got YSU volleyball, you got YSU football. You know, we'll be headed to Kentucky for Coach Stoops and the That'll Penguins to make a little trip. Third here and 16. Blitz. Erickson trying to escape the pressure, he does. Rolling out to his right. He'll be oh, thrown out of bounds. 15. I mean, this is getting crazy. This is getting really, really chippy and silly for no reason. Yeah, both teams going to come together. I mean, this was, yeah, you this, saw this, this is, coming. Yeah. No need it should happen. None. None at all. So now that we're going to have another stoppage here. I wouldn't be surprised if we have some players. Yeah, I think you're going to have some ejections here for sure. And that is just horrible because both these teams have tough games next week. Now the coach is doing some talking, which is really just taken away from. Yeah, it's taken away from a good football game. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, he's five yards out of bounds. There's no need for it. So now we'll see what what's to be taken care of. And at this point, too, 8-16 left, 42-14 game. How much longer are the refs going to let this go yeah, for? You, well, you can't. And, and you, you because can. what's going to happen is a good player is going to get somebody's going to get hurt for something. And you got to think you're you going to let yeah. this game even continue yeah, at this rate because I mean that's ten yards out of bounds and then a push, which at that rate you're you're not doing a real push. So what's the point of even putting your hands on? Yeah, which and I mean we're not. That's not that's yeah, not not for us to talk not. about or, or for us to do, but. But yeah. to to look back on the game we've had tonight, I mean we don't even have to talk about that. Fitch, safe to say they've come in and they've handled business no, away from have. home. And I just, it's unfortunate that you see all this go down here because, let's be honest, it's its a rivalry. <laughs> it's, you know, both sides are heated, angered. Somebody's going to lose every time you play. And, and uh, it's just unfortunate. Urson will be going to Harding next week. Fitch will be back at home. I mean, I've enjoyed it tonight, Steve. Yeah. We've had no, a good call. It's, it's, I've <laughs> had a blast doing it. I enjoy watching them. They're kids. You get it. Emotions are high. I get that. It's just um, a lot of afterplay stuff that, that kind of should not happen. Looks like our referees got the call. Unsportsmanlike. And then another dead ball. The might offset. Nope. Another one against Fitch. Yeah, one against Ursula. They all offset. So it's like, <laughs> you know. And those are hard for me. I'm not going to lie. I do what I do. And who gets penalized? Nobody. Nobody. Um, it's. So, like it never happened, it'll be right. first down Just first. first go back, and it's going to be fourth down all over again. And, you know, I worry about injuries. That's what I worry about. I worry about somebody being somewhere that they shouldn't be and getting caught up in a physical game and getting hurt. That, that's where, you know, maybe two penalties outweigh one, so it'll probably be a first down. They're marking it down, so Urson got a chance to, to go in and score. But, Wow. 8.16 to go here in the fourth quarter. Highly anticipated game tonight. Yeah, the emotions were high. There's no yeah. doubt about it. Let's be honest about it. Both teams, you know, this is it. This is what you, you know, you want to be the best in the area. Hand off to Christian Lynch. He'll go right up the middle and into the end zone. That'll shorten the gap a little bit for Lynch and company. So for Christian Lynch, that'll be his first touchdown of the night. 
Yep, his first of the night. Yeah, a pretty big hole there. And, and that's, you know, the score is 42 to 20, but Ursuline <laughs> has got a lot of yards. <laughs> they have. I, I'm not going to sit here and say that they've, they've really kind of stopped themselves, to be honest with you. And I, I don't know all the holds ups and what we're. Looks like we're ready now for the extra point attempt. a lot of slow attempt. action in this game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's 9.36. Yeah, we'll be a, here until 10 about, at least. Oh, absolutely. You have eight minutes left. Person will squib it, and Fitch is going to keep playing, obviously, which kids are taught to do. Offsides here, so this will get stopped. Poland 28-21 final over Hubbard. That's a big win for the Bulldogs in any eight play. Boardman over Howland, 40 to 13. JFK over Perkins, 20 to 12. Lakeview over Niles, 21 to 13. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie, live here from Stambaugh Stadium tonight. This one will be moved a little bit closer on the extra point attempt. McGlone will try all over. High snap, kick is up, and the kick is good. Yeah, 42-21, so. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Fourth quarter action here on YSN. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash Trumbull. Hi, this is Tommy Clem, owner of WRS Insurance Solutions. WRS Insurance Solutions is a local independent agency that specializes in life, Medicare, long-term care and disability products. Call us at 330-953-3722 or visit us at wrsinsurancesolutions.com to learn more. Good luck to all the student athletes in the Valley. WRS Wealth Advisors, the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists, located on South Avenue in Boardman. Welcome back. Eight minutes, 11 seconds to go here in our fourth quarter. Anthony Romo, Steve Leslie on the call here, live from Youngstown yeah. State University, Ursuline. Looks like they're going to yeah. attempt the onside, onside kick, kick here. Onside kick again. Cam's back where he's at, so he'll, I'm sure he'll try to fair catch this. McGlone with the onside. That'll go to Ursland. Yeah. Want Ursuline's the distance. Get it. Yep. Irish ball. I'm not quite sure what Fitch was doing right there. You got to expect an onside kick. <laughs> <laughs> got a long way to go here. I mean, <laughs> there's eight minutes yeah, there's to go. Yeah, there's eight minutes left, and... A lot of nobody moved. I'm not quite sure. And that's it's weird because that's a play that you see at any level of football. The guys just yeah, freeze. Just it's freeze because and, it comes and a lot so of slow. Standing around now and a lot of worrying about other things. And the football games kind of could get very interesting if Erson hits a big play here. So Jack Erickson and company will head back out. Eight minutes, eleven seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Cheney, 35 to 10 victory tonight over go. Marlington. Congrats to Coach 4-0. Handoff here to Lynch. We'll get right across midfield. Like you said, there is a lot, of, and then we have some more extracurricular. Yeah, more going on there, standing up over the top. I mean, this is still a ball game yeah, too. No you question. can't. 
you got to give Ursa a little credit for the continued fight that they, you talked about that. How would they come out? They've came out and, and battled pretty well here after a couple big turnovers. Under eight minutes to go now. Christian Lynch, 17 carries, 182 yards. Yeah, he's had a nice game. I mean, moving the ball hasn't been a problem. It's the mistakes. Erickson going to drop back. He's going to unload, looking for Farrell. He's got, got it. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Yeah, don't start, you know, here we go. You got seven minutes left, and Erson has all their timeouts. <laughs> this is a ball game. That's a ball game for sure, and, 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 and I say that because things like that can turn games and momentum, and, and you kind of lose focus of what you're doing, and, and that's what's happening. D.C. Farrell, we've yeah, seen a him stud. a couple times here in the second half now. Yep. As McGlone will come on for the extra point attempt. Yeah. So score with eight minutes left and score in 30 seconds. Now you, you get a stop on downs here and get the ball back. You get it, an opportunity to get the one score. Extra point from McGlone is up, and it's good. Yeah. And that's Don't go huge. away yet. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave us. No. Don't, Don't leave, leave us. us. You've been known for some fantastic finishes. <laughs> this one would. This, this one would. We got would a long way to go. We'll take a quick break with that being said. 7.34 to go in our fourth quarter here from Stambaugh Stadium. My guy keeps it 100. 100% 100 of the time. He wants all 100. Won't settle for 99. And it's more than stats because there's people in those numbers. And I was one of the lost sheep. I'm so glad he cares for all 100. I'm 100% 100 safe, 100% 100 free, 100% love. I could be 100% me. He gave all 100 when they put him up on that tree. That's 100% passion for 100% free. So if I play in front of 100, or if I play in front of two, there's an audience of one getting a hundred percent of what I can do. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelors. Welcome wow. back here, Youngstown yep. State. 7.34 to go, 42-28 yep. ball game. They Steve, if you're Ursuline, a little bit. Probably another squib. Now, if I'm McGlone here, you try to get it over to two rows and try and to try pitch to, it somewhere. And I mean, we saw it in week yeah. one with Will Bernie. Yeah, and let your speed try to get to it. So a lot of options, but there's a lot of time left. I would not be surprised to see Coach Reardon kick it deep and try to play defense one time. You know, you don't want to get Fitch the ball now at the 40-yard line. You got it to two scores and 7.34 left. You got an opportunity to do some things here. How about East Palestine, 34-0 win tonight. Hats off to them. That's a huge win. Ursuline student section up and at it a little bit now. McGlone. Yeah, there it is. He's going to go right it. over the top edge. Try to get a little that bounce. That one's still on the ground. Yeah, it's a great job. Now you need to stop. You do need to stop. Or a turnover. They have not. Fitch hasn't turned it over all night. These are hard to do when your offensive lineman, the Fitch offense, has not been on the field a whole lot in the second half. Now you got to go out and you, and you need to start getting some chunk yardage back. And if you're Ursuline, you want to just play a, a nice three-down series here. 7.33 to go here in our ball game. Ball will be on the 20, own 21-yard 20 yeah. line for Fitch. Deshaun Vaughn and company will head back out. Ursuline student section yeah, starting to get they're loud. Into it. It's down that end, so trying to take advantage of this. Vaughn will hand it off here to DJ Williams Nothing on first doing. down. Nice cutback, yep, and he'll be are, taken down. The Irish are bouncing around now. They got the momentum. For the first time here tonight. Sure. It's high school football, momentum swings are huge. We saw Ursuline go through a couple. Now the Falcons got to answer a couple mistakes. Williams will head out. James will head back in. Second down and nine. Two guys to the bottom, one to the top. 
Yeah, that's a big penalty. Again, mistake. Huge penalty. Yeah, give up a free five when you got the momentum going. Don low jump. Just can't happen. Second and four now. Yeah, against big backs that, that lean forward. Now two run plays, you probably got a first down. Don Lowe and Lucas will switch edges, switch ends. Second and four for Fitch. Vaughn going to toss it. Jamel James with some space. That'll be a first down. Yeah, Frango's on the tackle, so they get the big first down, but it's off the penalty. Yep. That's second and nine, and a, and a mistake gives them a short field, and that's where they hurt you at. 6.40 now to go. You need some penetration. You need to start shooting some gaps now because you're going to be under six minutes after this play. You got to get a stop. Clock running, 6.20 to go. Deshaun Vaughn in the backfield with Jamel James. Fitch going to try to go as slow as they possibly can. Nice yeah. cut by Fit by James. He'll get towards midfield, yeah. and it looks like Fitch starting to get some of that momentum back. We've got an Austin Top Fitch guy now. So, so 6.03 to go. That'll stop the clock for the time being. Ursland still with all three timeouts, like you had said. I mean, it's a hot night. Yeah, it's been a hot night. night. A lot We've seen of plays, a lot of cramps. A lot of cramps. A lot of big plays. A lot of everything. This is a cramp, so not that you're ever happy about an injury, but that's a good one to see. Jackson Milton, 22-21 victory over Western Reserve tonight. Another undefeated team. It's another undefeated so team. So Jackson Milton, 4-0. Uh, JFK, 4-0 now. 4-0. Uh, oh. Middle Ridge, 4-0. Middle Ridge, 4-0. Cheney, 4-0. Canfield, 4-0. Lowville, 4-0. One of these teams is going to be 4-0. And we have some good football teams in our area. We really do at, at every division, and I know that's – why we love to do what we do. We have somebody we feel in every division, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that, that can yep. do some damage. These two you're watching, there's no doubt can. Yeah. I mean, when you watch what Fitch is able to do, and you have to give Urson credit, you do. You know, they came back and played hard here in the second half and competed when you're at a, thir a running clock. You're down 35 30. nothing. Yeah, you're at a running clock at 35 nothing, and you got it to two scores. But you don't want to give up another touchdown. I think for Urson, it's key to, to keep them out of the end zone, if anything. Second down and five for the Falcons. Hand off to Jamel James. He's going to try to cut it back towards the middle. He's close to the first down marker. He'll be yeah, about inches third, short. Third and about a half a yard. This is perfect positioning for Fitch. You kind of want to keep it. Yeah, you want to run the play third clock, down. third downs, get another first down. And again, Coach Kelly Nairish, you want to get a Dunlow or somebody shoot a gap and try to make a play. Jamel James, you know where the ball's going. 173 yards and 17 carries, so it's going to him. Quarterback sneak, maybe. Vaughn under center. Got him to jump. Yeah, just a mistake. Automatic first down. Two on a drive. Yeah. Just came up. He was going to go quarterback sneak and got him to jump. And I don't know how many penalties it's been on tonight, but there's been quite a few. Five minutes, ten seconds to go here in our fourth quarter. And if you're Coach Parker, you're trying to score. <laughs> There's no question about it. We've seen how quick. Yeah, you're not here answer. to run out of the clock. He knows how fast they can answer. He, he wants seven points up on the board to get an end to this. First and ten, Fitch from the Ursuline 43. Hand off to James, going up the middle, and Urson has just not been able to get that first guy to take Urson's him down at all tonight. Kind of gas now. A lot you of you get all that adrenaline. Slower. James is getting up slow. There's a lot of. There will be a lot of sore bodies tomorrow oh, yeah. morning on both sides, no question. Um, the damage that they take for as hard as they all run, that, that's a, a tough thing to do. 4.23 to go, clock running, second down and four yeah, for they're Fitch. They're going to run it. Yeah, again. 
it's kind of running down. You don't want to see anybody get hurt. Uh, I keep saying that, but this is one of those games. Both teams kind of showed who they are and what they're capable of doing. You don't need an injury here in the last four minutes. Yeah, then TJ going to take a timeout there. So I think another first down or so here. It could be run it out time. Yep. Under Obviously four to go, but gonna, I mean. Yeah, you're going to score for sure if you can. And you got to think. You got to think, though, if you're Ursuline still. So under four minutes to go here, second down and four for Fitch coming out of the timeout. I'm tired. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little spent. This is a lot. Yeah, There's it's been a lot. There have been a lot of big plays, a lot of great plays, a lot of silly plays. Handoff here to DJ Williams. And that's something the team like Fitch can do. Yep. Pound the rock to back. James, bring Williams in, yeah. do the same thing. We have now a cramp got, first. Now you got cramps with Bernie. This is what I was worrying about. Got a lot of guys playing a lot of plays. Three fifty four. Yeah, we still got a lot Fox of time. Says. And Urson has their timeouts. But like you said, that, those quick hitters <laughs> with big backs and a pretty good offensive line are tough to shut down late in games. Both guys probably over 100. Yeah, this has been a rushing attack. Yeah. Like, these two teams have arguably the two best rushing attacks in the yeah, area. There's no doubt about that. Some talented backs and good linemen. Uh, big time recruits both ways. Yeah, you got another long day of announcing tomorrow, too. <laughs> Me and Mr. Hannon will have a little fun. Hopefully the Gwyns get win number two. That's, you want to get these first two, yeah, of you course, do. because you have Kentucky a Kentucky and then a tough. bye week and the old trip to North Dakota State. Always love it, right? Yeah, it's a good time. What a great town, though. You want to talk about a place that's special and loves football and loves their team, that's it. The, one of the nicest places I've ever been to. People, uh, their staff, they're, they're polite. And it's a fun trip for sure. Hopefully, it'd be nice to get a W over there for sure. How would that be? That the last time we beat them was there. Yeah, Coach Wolford, they beat them. And then we lost the game the next week to make the playoffs here at home. That's kind of been, you know, yeah. the area wants to see this football team back in the playoffs. There's no doubt about that. And, and I think I, number eight in the backfield could be that guy to get us there, hopefully. Yeah, this is definitely a very talented team this year for Youngstown State. Clock will run, and you like to see them let this whole play clock run. Do you see the back judge put the hand up for five seconds, which looks like they're going to do. Under three minutes and 40 seconds to go now here in our fourth quarter. Yeah, he's at five, so doing a nice job of bleeding it. Vaughn going to hand it off here to Williams. Pretty good tackle by Dunlow. Now Erson's going to call timeouts. So, keep us feast or famine. Yeah, and, and <laughs> you know it's a two-score game, so I, I get that. There's there's no easy way. Coaching is there's a lot of decisions that be made that that have to be made on the fly. Uh, a lot of people, you know, question some things that coaches do. That's part of what these guys do. But you got two good coaching staffs here in this football game. Big score out of Northeast Ohio. Riverside over Chardon, 21 to seven. Chardon's 31 game win streak. Over. Over. So, and they've lost some people. I mean, they've won, what, three in a row, I think. Two or three. Two or three. So, <laughs> and they're th still the team to beat Urson here in, in this there. region. Yeah, they're still a team to beat, but Urson's there. Canfield's there. Cheney's, Cheney's there. there. Villa St. Joe's will be there by the end. Um, talented division. Uh, Talmadge, division I two. In the Talmadge division, is in there. In the region two. Yeah. Uh, Fitch's division with Hoban. Nordonia. Fitch could play Nordonia. There, there's, but but Fitch is every good bit as good as those teams. So we, we got an opportunity 
uh, for these teams to I get better, clean some things up for sure. I mean, I wouldn't mind going into December. No, not with some of these teams. 326 to go, second down and five for Fitch. They up, they're up by 14. Looking to put the nail in the coffin. Handoff here to Williams. Nice job there by Frangos and, and Rohrboss. So another timeout for the Irish. He's going to go down with a cramp. This is a physical football game. I don't and, know, I think, and I don't know if they'll reset the clock. The clock ran for about 10 seconds yeah, after Urson called the timeout. I don't know if they will reset it or not, but I will say this. A lot of talented kids that, that gave yeah. it their all when uh, things look bleak. I'll go to Urson. When you're down 35 nothing, it's pretty credit to, to get it to 42 28. And we saw, we saw something like this last yeah, year against we did. that Sharks. That's a credit that we to the mentioned. kids, the coaches, the, how hard they work. There's and no you got to give credit to Fitch here after a couple mistakes to get a couple first downs when they need to make a response. Been pretty good responses both ways by these teams. I think that that was big not only for Ursland to mount a comeback, you could call it like that, but against a team like this because we saw in the first half just how dangerous Fitch can be when they're clicking oh. because the, the height, the size. size. Right, but you could see you can get them too on some things. The yardage, uh, I'll be curious to see what the yard is. As Ursland's got a lot of yards in this football game as does Fitch. Big third down play here. You get a stop, you get the ball back. 318. Third down and three for Fitch. Ursula needs a big stop right here. He's Bond's gonna keep, keep it. It's gonna be short. It's gonna be. About a half yard short. Yeah, real close Ursa to the marker. One more time out. And this is your ball game right yeah. here. Gonna be in here. But not enough if they get the first down to run the clock out, so they'll have to keep playing for sure. And if you're Urson, like we saw in that play right there with Yeah, Williams, if you're Urson, you just want to stop and try to hit another big one. You're trying to jar the ball loose, yeah, too. No That's question. what we saw with you're Williams. You're going to go for a strip. You're going to go for something. But this always doesn't help out when you see the coach look to the sidelines and call the number of Brian Robinson, who will come in to block here, I'd imagine. Yeah. And you go back and you look. Urson had two touchdowns called back, two defensive touchdowns for Fitz. A lot of big plays in this football game. A lot of momentum shifters. I mean, you go back all the way to, like I said, the first possession for Ursuline. Yeah. You drove all Couple the way penalties. down the field. Yeah, touchdown gets called back. Turnover Give on Give up downs. a 96-yard drive. Uh, you know, then go down again and get it down there. And Christian with the big fumble, he's had a great game. But there's a score and a lot of big plays that I think these coaches will want to limit. Of course. Heading down the road. But Jack Erickson has shown me something here. A lot of resilience. Yeah. He's taking some hits. Yeah, he's taking some big time hits and made some good throws here in the second half. Fourth down and two. Little here pistol for Fitch. backfield with the two big fellas. It'll be James that'll take the snap. DJ Williams to his Fitch left. Fitch is going to take a timeout. They want to keep us here. They do. They know you have a game to call here <laughs> tomorrow. Some good college football on tomorrow, yeah. Alabama, Texas. Texas yeah. It's a big game, and then we have another game on the network. I know Mooney plays tomorrow, tomorrow down in West yeah, Virginia. DJ will be there in the afternoon. That Mooney team, they've they've shown some 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 strides early on this yeah. year. That that's a completely They're different ball better. team. Absolutely, I, I think that they've started to improve for sure. A lot of teams we've seen yeah. improve. Springfield made an improvement, didn't get a W, but played better. Uh, they I did. think you see them maybe get a little hot down the road here. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see real quick. This pitch will head back out. It'll be fourth down and two. Jamel James will take the snap. DJ Williams joins him in the backfield. Got him. keeper, they got him. They get the stop. That's probably the, yeah. I don't remember the last time here that Ursula yeah. has stopped Jamel James behind the sticks. They've showed me something. They that's, have. That's a big play. That's a big play. They've showed me something the second half. Fitch is gassed. And Ursula, I got to give pretty good conditioning for the Ursula and Irish to be conditioned to yeah. keep going here. That's for sure. 
Now you go quick. <laughs> Try to score fast. I was I was thinking when we were talking about Springfield, they have Mineral Ridge next week. It's a huge game. <laughs> they could be 0 and 5 wow. and and play probably Three of them will be undefeated that they played, and Brookfield has the loss to Urson, so uh -huh. their schedule is a lot better than people think it. Yeah. All right, they put number 15 in the backfield now, so it's going to get real interesting. They continue to mix it yeah. up. Three to the top, two to the bottom. Empty set. D.C. Farrell in the backfield. 3.04 to go. Farrell's going to keep it himself. He has some space. Yep. First down. They're going to spread them out now and try to make the Falcons' big boys run. No That's what DC can do. No timeouts. Farrell all alone in the backfield again. They're going quick. Taken down. That's a big tackle yeah. for loss. Huge tackle. Christian Latone. Yeah, Latone made a big play. Nowhere to go. Now Erickson Jack will come, come back, back to the in. backfield. They're going to have Lynch joining him back there. Clock's not Erickson's friend. 2.34 to go. Erickson rolling out to his right. He'll find Farrell. Stays on his feet. Boy, is he explosive with the football. Set up third and short. Yeah. His clock's still running, though. If you're Fitz, you just keep him in front. Yeah. Keep everybody in front. Can make catch him with a run here to Christian and try to get up and go fast. Looks like a run box here for him. Yep. Hand off to Lynch. First down and more. This is incredible. No quit. No, there's no quit for sure, and that's what I love to see. I mean, we're the home of the Irish for sure. I love what I'm watching here with these kids. There's no quit in it. Under two minutes to go now. Ball on the 40. Jack Erickson going to drop back. Looking for the yeah, out route. Has him. The out. Yep. All they want to do is score before you give yourself some time and try an onside kick. That's big that you get out of bounds yeah, there. Absolutely. Pass was caught by Manning. Davis to your bottom of the screen. Farrell in the slot. Offsides on Fitch. Offsides on Yeah, they were Neely. mixed up in coverage, so he, he jumped offsides to get the play stopped. That's smart. Yeah, it is smart. They were out of coverage, would have had a touchdown. Concentration right now is... This has just been an incredible. It's been unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, this has just been great. Yeah. Now you're down inside the 20. Christian's back in play again. Yeah. Hand off to Lynch. Gonna try to bounce it outside. Pretty good run there. Driven back. Yep. Enough for the first down, though. We'll see. I don't think so. No. He's going to be short. Gonna be That's going to keep that gotta clock get up rolling. And go. Yeah, got to get up and go fast. Come on now. Get the big lineman set, get going. Fitch, a lot of standing up right now. Erickson will drop back. Looking. Pass tipped off the hands of Bernie. Yeah, was almost picked off there. Do you understand how tired these kids have to be? Oh, I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> uh, I mean, the wear and tear of... Just calling it, but the contact on every play, I like this probably goes back to Christian Lynch, I'm sure. Yep, third down and one. Third and one, you want to get him the first down. There he goes. Yep, got it. First down. He's still running hard. Still going. Still going. Still going. Inside the 10, it'll be first and goal. Yep. Now you got to get everyone to the line. It'll stop for the yep. spot. They're trying to sub in. They can't even sub in. Clock rolling, 110 to go. Erickson in the gun. Hand off to Lynch. Nice contain there by Fitch, yeah. hitting the outside, Cam forcing him back in. Cam Smith, big time play. Under a minute to go. Hey, you want to keep going. All you want to do is get in and give yourself that onside chance. 50 seconds remain now. I like now read on the option fourth. for Jack. Erickson going to drop back, scanning, rolling out to his left. He's going to throw it. Touchdown. Touchdown, Ursland. Will, Will Bernie. Bernie. <laughs> 40 seconds to go. You got to get the onside, of course, now. Yeah, but you got yourself a chance, and that's what you have to be impressed with. You can take a lot from this, no doubt, what you've done here in the second half. 
Ursland has scored now. Yep, it was 42 to seven. They've scored the last 35, 34. 34 straight. Right. Well, 28, 27. Oh, he oh, missed it. That's that's huge if you're Fitch. Yeah. Because now you need the two. Now you need the two to, to get it. it. What did that add to the score? A lot of line? walking right now. James McGlone's probably the guy in the bed with the best shape right yeah, now that'll be on the field. Yeah, he's got a chance to squib one somewhere. A lot of tired bodies. Urson sprinting up and down the field. Falcons doing a lot of walking right now. Wow. I mean, I, I think we've rebounded to say this is one of the best games of the night. I think so. And I think it's a credit to good football teams. Um, and I think it's a it's a learning lesson for both of them, too. When you of lose course. concentration sometimes, like they, I think there was lost concentration. Uh, and that wasn't about the game anymore. It was a lot of extra stuff that, you know, isn't needed for two talented football teams, in my opinion. And, yeah, you know, hats off to both of them. And a great, great football game is coming to a great ending. Here we go. I mean, they tried to just the squib the one with the McGlone. Well, do you try that one again? I mean, you got to think. Yeah, this got to be a 10 yarder. You can't really try to put this one over both lines. You got to. It's going to be one play. If they recover it, I kneel down and the game will be over. But if they can recover it, they got the people to get the football to. No timeouts for Ursland, remember. So if, yeah. if this onside kick, kick isn't successful, a, this it'll is It'll be one ball kneel. Game. They got three guys lined up. Who's going to kick it's the question. Nah, not enough on it. Flag will be thrown. My guess is that'll do it. So we're actually, we'll redo it. Looks like they may say Urson went early. Will that be dead ball? So we'll have another shot now. I'm not quite sure who was offsides for Urson. I didn't see anybody. The clone took a hit too. So now we'll do it all over. Traditional kick fielded by Fitch, and that will do it. Ursland gave him a scare, but Fitch will be able to hold on. What a game. Yeah, it's a good one, but if I'm Austin Town Fitch, I got a lot of work to do when I get back. You're up 35 with a running clock and kind of lost its focus. So Fitch will move to 4 0 on the season. Ursland will drop. Two, three, and one. Two talented one. football teams. It was a phenomenal football game. So many momentum swings and, and things like that. You want to see both sides, both coaches get to work. I'm sure they do a great job, and they'll get a lot of the mistakes cleaned up both ways, and these will be two football teams by the end of the year that can make a big-time run. It'll be one kneel for Deshaun Vaughn. And that will do it. Vaughn kneels, 35 seconds to go, so another snap is not needed. And that'll do it. Austin Town Fitch will be your winners here tonight by a final score of 42-34. Steve, any final thoughts? No, just a good football game. A lot of talented players, obviously, a lot of hugging. You see it down there. They're competitors, and they, they came after one another like you're supposed to do, there's no doubt. Uh, I'm impressed with both of them. Hats off to TJ and Dan. It's two football teams that I could think of make a long run. Couldn't have said it better myself. That'll do it here from Stambaugh Stadium. Austin Town Fitcher winner tonight, 42 to 34.